You know, with all due respect, I, I think you and the entire WWE Universe has it all wrong. And I don't blame you for, for your perception. It's understandable. You think, you all think, everyone at home thinks Brock Lesnar doesn't care about being the Universal Champion and that his sole focus is becoming the UFC Heavyweight Champion again. And nothing, I assure you, I swear to you, nothing could be further from the truth. Brock Lesnar loves being in WWE. Brock Lesnar loves being the Universal Heavyweight Champion. Then why the hell doesn't he show up? What Brock Lesnar wants to do is Brock Lesnar wants to represent the entire WWE Universe and challenge for the UFC Heavyweight Championship with the Universal title strapped tightly around his waist. So that when Brock Lesnar becomes once again the UFC Heavyweight Champion, he does it representing WWE as the Universal Champion, as a two-sport champion, the same way, Kurt Angle, you challenged in your prime for all of the WWE titles with the Olympic gold medals strapped around your neck. Well, if that's Brock's goal, more power to him. You just I'm made the list. Simple. Brock Lesnar will defend the Universal Championship at SummerSlam, or he is no longer champion. Um. Can I make a pun? No, give me an answer right now, Paul. You drive a hard bargain. You're a hell of a negotiator. Brock Lesnar will defend the Universal title at SummerSlam. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my client, Brock Lesnar, I congratulate each and every single one of you, the members of the WWE Universe, for your voices have been heard. You have all screamed at the top of your lungs, individually and collectively, we want more Brock Lesnar, more You want more of the beast! You want more of the conqueror! If it was up to you, the WWE Network would be all Brock Lesnar all the time! Which is why I congratulate you for making your voices heard by this highly intelligent general manager who forced our hands, so now it is official! My client, Brock Lesnar, will defend the Universal title at SummerSlam. And the only thing left for you to decide, Kurt Angle, is who at SummerSlam will be beaten, victimized, and conquered by Brock. 
victories of his entire career in Extreme Rules. You know his sights are set on the Universal Champion. Yeah, certainly it positioned him very, very well. When I came back to WWE, I had two goals in mind. I accomplished the first by defeating Roman Reigns at Extreme Rules. Now it's time to accomplish the other. I'm just an advocate. And that's to beat Brock Lesnar and win the Universal title. Well, last we made his intentions clear, but I don't think we're gonna have any shortage of willing challengers for Brock's Universal Championship. Yeah, now that we know that Brock is gonna show up at SummerSlam, I have a feeling we're gonna have a, uh, a long line, so to speak. Hold on, Lashley. Gentlemen, why exactly do you think I came back to the WWE? You think I came back to make up the roster numbers? You think I came back to stand in Dolph Ziggler's corner? I came back for change. I came back to ensure the Intercontinental title stayed around Dolph Ziggler's waist. That was phase one. And now I think it's time for phase two. The Universal Championship. Well, here comes the King Slayer, who has an issue with Mr. McIntyre after what went down in last night's Iron Man match. And boy, he is walking with a purpose. The fire and set you just made tonight. the list. Drew McIntyre is the reason Dolph Ziggler is still the Intercontinental Champion tonight. More on that later on, but Rollins is intense. Kurt, if you're looking for an opponent for Brock Lesnar, I'm right here. Question for everybody here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Yeah. 
Now, now. There is a lot of noise going on in this ring. Let me tell you, nothing sounds nicer than Elias as Universal Champion. And on top of that, you just made the week, list. July 23rd, next week, July 23rd, next week, July 23rd, my debut album drops. So it only makes sense that you ride that success right into SummerSlam and put Elias against Brock Lesnar. for you who was the very first universal champion so I think it only makes sense that it should be Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar title opportunity. The big dogs joining the fray here tonight. I don't have any excuses. And I damn sure don't care about Brock Lesnar. All I want, Kurt, is to fight somebody tonight. All right, listen, guys, you're all deserving to be out here right now. This is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna have two triple threat matches. The winners of those matches will face each other next week for the right to face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam for the Universal Championship. The first triple threat match will be Elias, Seth Rollins, and Bobby Lashley. The other triple threat match will be Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor, and Roman Reigns. I'm not done. And that match starts right now. Oh, what a decision yeah. by our general manager. The question is, what does the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar think of all this? We're going to find out who has a chance to get to SummerSlam. Our first triple threat match is live next on Raw.
is free for new subscribers. We roll slow in Louisiana. That's why Popeye's marinates chicken 12 hours. So what if it takes half the day to cook chicken? That's how it's done. Here, at least. Taste the Louisiana difference with four pieces for five bucks or a 10-piece family meal for 20. With deals like this, of course you... Love that chicken from Popeye's. Come away with me, Barnabas. But I am a simple farmer. My life is here. In, in the feet. Ahoy, hoy, Alexander Graham Bell here. No, no, my number is one. You must want two. Two, I say! <laughs> like my father... Be hoy, hoy. As long as people talk too loudly on the phone, you can count on GEICO saving folks money. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Crab Fest is back at Red Lobster. Discover our largest variety of crab and crab dishes all year, like new Crab Fest Combo. Your one chance to have new jumbo snow crab with tender Dungeness crab. Or try Crab Lover's Dream, sweet, juicy king crab and jumbo snow crab cozied up with crab linguine alfredo. Even our shrimp is crab topped. So hurry in and get your Butter Duncan game on, because Crab Fest will be gone in a snap. And now bring home the seafood you crave with Red Lobster to go. Call or order online today. At CarMax, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. Because maybe you're already buying a car somewhere else, or maybe you want to shop around, or maybe you don't want to drive a car at all anymore. Like maybe you want to ride a camel into the desert and take a deep, hard look within. Just figure some stuff out for a while. That's cool. Whatever your plans for buying a car, CarMax is the place to sell your car. Okay, let's do this, Tina. Here we go. I believe in you, Tina. Come on now. Ah, we could just hang out here. Gatorade. With carbs to help fuel your muscles and help you make the leap to the next level. Studied, tested, proven. Nothing beats Gatorade. Movies and zombies! We're having a baby! We sold our house. We're moving to Austin. You got cats, you got dogs, <laughs> you got a Margo. Yeah, it's my mom. Ms. and Mrs. premieres July 24th on USA. I'm Samantha Wheeler. I work with Harvey. Stay away from my clients. We need to figure out what we're going to do about this woman. I'm here to tell you to back the hell off. Well, that's not going to happen. Katherine Heigl joins the cast for an all-new season of Suits. Premieres Wednesday at 9 on USA. What do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Two triple threat matches? Did you even get authorization from Stephanie? I didn't think I needed to. That's the problem. You don't think. And why didn't you think about putting me in one of those two matches? I didn't think you deserved it. You don't think I deserve it and Finn Balor does? Finn beat you last night. Think about that. Well, General Manager Kurt Angle is right. Finn Balor did defeat Constable Corbin last night at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view event so here we go the first of two triple threat matches here tonight on monday night raw it's balor mcintyre and reigns first man to gain pinfall or submission will win this match not only did finn balor defeat baron corbin last night he proved that although he may be undersized he's never overmatched as we're seeing right now balor not afraid to take the fight to mcintyre you know all three of these guys came out. They wanted the opportunity. I got to give Kurt Angle a lot of credit, guys. He gave oh. all six guys Balor. opportunity. They're going to win the match up here. Reigns in two kicks out. Remember, the winner of this match will face the winner of tonight's other triple threat match between Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley, and Elias next week. The winner of that match heads to SummerSlam.
to meet the Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. So high stakes here tonight. Michael, you said right before we went to the break, uh, how would Brock Lesnar uh, respond? Well, you know he's got to be watching somewhere because Paul Heyman was about to make a phone call. I don't think Brock Lesnar's happy at all. Paul Heyman tried to talk his way out of having a championship title defense at SummerSlam, and then when he realized Angle meant business of stripping the champ of the title, he uh, had a complete about face, and Balor with a drop kick to the face of McIntyre. And Balor knocks Reigns over You just made the list. Finn Balor going to uh, take it out. Finn Balor has been on a two-year mission to regain the Universal Championship that he first won at SummerSlam, then relinquished it due to injury. And look at Balor fly! You know, I love the fact that we have some clarity now that the WWE Universe oh. fans, uh, the superstars, they now know what the journey is, what the road is to get to Brock oh, Lesnar. Oh my goodness. Oh. Balor's spine driven right into the turnbuckle by McIntyre. And now Roman Reigns oh, and Drew McIntyre looking great here on the early going tonight. Cover on Reigns, kick out at two. You have to think of the three competitors in the ring right now. McIntyre's got to be in the best physical condition. Both, both uh, Roman Reigns and Finn Balor competed in grueling matches last night at Extreme Rules. Yeah, very, very physical for both. Drew McIntyre, 6'5", 265. He's the reason that Dolph Ziggler is still the Intercontinental Champion today. McIntyre would love to win this match and qualify for the finals next week. Meanwhile, Roman Reigns, guys, how does Roman respond tonight after a tough loss last night to Bobby Lashley? You know, I respect the fact that he comes out here and says, hey, I just want to fight, but we oh. saw it was, what, 20, 25 minutes oh, my man. Goodness. of haymaker after haymaker. And Drew McIntyre, who many believe myself included, is a future Universal Champion here on Monday Night Raw. I concur with you, Michael Cole. I think Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler, for that matter, since coming to Monday Night Raw. Off the suplex cover, hooks the inside leg this time, and Roman gets the shoulder up at two. Have backed up every claim they've made and achieved practically every goal in this short period of time. McIntyre could very well be headed to SummerSlam. What did you make of him saying that Phase 1 was keeping Dolph Ziggler the Intercontinental Champion, and now this has Ooh. always been Phase two. And can you imagine McIntyre as the Universal Champion? Ziggler as the Intercontinental Champion on Monday nights? This is a different Drew McIntyre than some of you WWE fans may be used to from a number of years ago when he came to WWE as the chosen one. A much more focused Drew McIntyre realizes that his career is short, that he only has certain opportunities at championships. Cover again, kick out again by Reigns. It's rare in, a, in any sport that a guy or female, for that matter, comes back and understands that this is their last chance to be at the highest level, to be at the top of the mountain. Drew McIntyre clearly does. I have to respect McIntyre and Ziggler's mindset of refusing to wait in line. You want an opportunity, you take it. You make your own opportunity. All right, Balor blasted off the apron by McIntyre. It has been all McIntyre in the early going of this triple threat match. Such an intense human being. Do you think, guys, when all six of these men came out here tonight that they thought that by the end of the night that their SummerSlam dreams of a universal title shot oh! would be over? Neck breaker, cover again, hook to the leg, and a kick out by Reigns. McIntyre dominating. Our triple threat match continues live on Raw. But is killing me. I think that you have gout. This was a disease of kings. See, you thought I was a queen. Leave it up to me to have a royal disease. Oh my gosh. Chrisley knows best. All new episode Tuesday at 10 on USA. Whatever happened? I know it's not your fault. to keep 
Experience Control GX for men. The first shampoo with a brain. So smart, it reduces gray gradually. The more you shampoo, the less gray you have. How smart is that? Gradually reduce gray with Control GX shampoo from Just for Men. What about this guy? This guy's been through a lot. Dogs bring out the good in us. Pedigree brings out the good in them. Feed the good. <laughs> what? Use Old Spice. She knows best. I'm all about my bed. This mattress is dangerously comfortable. When I get in, I literally say, ah. Introducing the Lisa mattress. A better place to sleep. This bed hugs my body. I'm now a morning person. The Lisa mattress is designed to provide strong support, relieve pressure, and optimize airflow to keep you cool. Hello, bed of my dreams. Order online. We'll build it, box it, and ship it to your door for you to enjoy. Sleep on it for up to 100 nights and love it, or you'll get a full refund. Returns are free and easy. I love my Lisa. Today is gonna be great. Read our reviews, then try the Lisa mattress in your own home. Order now and get $150 off. And free shipping, too. Go to buylisa.com today. You need this bed. The world is full of bad men. Some people set them straight. What'd you do to that girl? It's go time. Go time. We all gotta pay for our sins. Go time. Who are you, Jackie Chan? <laughs> the Equalizer 2, rated R, Friday. Adulthood comes with many responsibilities. But you can get in your car and drive to Arby's for a $1 Coke float. So, it's a wash. Arby's, we have the meat. The dominance of Drew McIntyre continues in our triple threat match here tonight. McIntyre reigns in Finn Balor. Winner advances to next week to face the winner of tonight's ladder uh, triple threat matchup which will uh, determine who faces Lesnar at SummerSlam oh. for the Universal title. Yeah, Drew McIntyre has done an amazing job during the break of selectively one, then to the other, then back to the other, of really taking these two men apart. And you saw the referee admonishing Drew McIntyre a few moments ago when he was beating down Reigns in the corner. Remember, no disqualifications, however, oh. under triple threat rules. First man to gain pinfall or submission will win this match. And McIntyre with a boot to the side of the face of Reigns. I think Drew's really starting to back up his claim that he deserves to have that universal title shot against Brock. And he may well get it if he keeps this up. Balor, though, looking to fight back. And we all know about the heart, the resilience of Finn Balor and Roman Reigns, for that matter. And here comes Reigns. And Reigns exploding off the ropes and taking McIntyre down. And now Balor takes out Roman Reigns with a forearm of his own. Balor waited and picked his spot, capitalized on the opportunity, and now had the big dog reeling. Oh, what a clothesline. Almost took his head off. Had past tense. It's not always the most dominant, however, in a triple threat match. It's usually the most opportunistic. And Roman Reigns starting to get back into this after a slow start. Much of that could probably be attributed to the very physical matchup with Bobby Lashley last night at Extreme Rules. And Roman knows if he wants to get back to the top of the mountain, he had no choice. Oh, good oh, oh. drive by Balor Rose oh. out of the way, and that was stopped right to the stomach of Reigns. Reigns had no choice but to pull himself up by his bootstraps and try to rally here tonight. But Finn Balor in control at the moment. Yeah, Roman came out here tonight and said, I'm not gonna make any excuses. I just wanna fight, and he's got a fight on his hands, and McIntyre! Are you, Are you kidding me? McIntyre over the top rope, taking Roman Reigns out. That is absolutely incredible. That man goes 6'5", 265, and he flew over the top rope like a cruiserweight. Incredible athleticism from McIntyre, but once again, Balor wisely choosing his spot. Driving McIntyre shoulder first into the steps. And now Finn Balor looking to put away McIntyre oh. right to the back of the neck. 
And now Finn tossing Roman back into the ring, and Finn Balor gonna turn his attention now to the big dog. Double leg takedown. Double stomp right to the abdomen, cover by Balor. Is it enough to advance to next week? Roman Reigns at two and a half. Watch Take this. One more look at this absolutely incredible athleticism from the Scotsman taking out the big dog with style. You know, not to take anything away from Finn, when Finn does it, it's amazing, spectacular. When a man of Drew McIntyre's size does that, that is something you never see. Well, it just shows you how important this matchup is to all three of these superstars here tonight. A possible date with Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship could hang in the balance as we head towards SummerSlam in Brooklyn. Looks like Reigns is gasping for air. Probably the effect of Fowler's attack to the midsection. Uh-oh, Roman's in the drop zone. Ben Fowler looking for the coup de grace, the move that brought him the Universal Championship oh! the first time. And a steel chair, legal, under triple threat rules. Could this be McIntyre's night? That is such a smart move by Drew McIntyre. Oh, it absolutely is. Balor looking to close things out with the coup de grace, and McIntyre swings for the fences and takes Balor down. And now McIntyre looking to use the chair on Roman Reigns, but he it, it, runs into a right hand. Well, he took too long. That's a mistake. And now Roman Reigns unloading on Drew McIntyre in the corner. McIntyre oh. reverses. Oh, Reigns. Reigns, shoulder into the Triple threat match. Wait a minute. Cover by McIntyre. Oh, no. They almost had him, and a kick out. This match continues live. Presents It's Got Potential. I think it'll look really good without the stripes. Whatever your home may hand you, bear through it in one coat. Bear Marquee, number one rated interior paint. Find it exclusively at the Home Depot. Your kid made their bed. Chili's 3 for 10. Picked up your dry cleaning. Chili's 3 for 10. Your in-laws just left. Chili's 3 for 10. A starter and entree and Coke for just 10. 3 for 10 bucks, baby bucks, baby bucks. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, 3 for 10's back. Baby back, baby back. Ethan, it's time. Go. Mission Impossible is the best movie of the summer. It's loaded with incredible action and suspense. This is why you go to the movies. You interrupt. In. Mission Impossible Fallout, July 27th. Chick Extreme 3. Three flexible blades that uniquely adapt to any contour for optimum comfort. For any twist or turn, life hands you. Chic Extreme 3 and Extreme 4 with four longer lasting blades. item would be the name your price tool? It helps people save on car insurance. Why wouldn't it save me? Why? What would you bring? A boat. Huh. Treat yourself to the unexpected flavor combinations of the new signature crafted recipes by McDonald's. Get the sweet and savory bacon smokehouse burger and any size Coke for just one dollar. Because some things are just better together. This phone is so slow. What's it gonna take for you to switch? I don't know. What do you need, a selfie? Sure. Hey, Google, take a selfie. It can do that? For a limited time, lease the LG G7 Thank You and get another one on Sprint. This is not a game. Or part-time in your uncle's shop. And it's bigger than any Little League trophy. It's nothing like fireworks on the 4th of July. Two a days with your varsity football team. For the first time you stayed out all night. Out here, it's not where the sea takes you, but who it makes you. Start your journey at Navy.com. I'm Captain Obvious, and Hotels.com rewards me basically everywhere. So why am I sliding into this ski lodge with my mini horse? Because Hotels.com lets me do me. Sorry, the cold makes him a little horse. Hotels.com. You do you and get rewarded. I think that's part B2. Where's A5? Hello? What's this? Try doing it clockwise? I've never seen a clock, mate. Oh. Breaks are good. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Let's just call the helpline. Oh, I have no doubt you'll find the truth. I'm just not sure you'll like it. 
We're looking to expose the heads of Atlas. We do that, we can all get the answers we're looking for. If you go, they'll kill you. I'm just sorry. There are two episodes left, and everything about Nikki's wedding is coming to a head. I can't control how I'm feeling about everything. And only E can give you the inside look. I'm just still in shock. Total Bellas, this Sunday at 9, and catch up on demand. And we're back live on Monday Night Raw. Triple threat action here tonight. Reigns, McIntyre, and Balor. First man to gain pinfall or submission will win in advance to a match next week to face the winner of tonight's triple threat match between Rollins, Lashley, and Elias. Yeah, you never want to look too far ahead, but right now, whoever comes out of this, literally their careers could be changed forever moving forward. That's how big this match is. Roman Reigns looking to build momentum here. It was a slow start for Roman in this match. You Based just made the list. confrontation with Bobby Lashley last night and Extreme Rules, but Reigns is starting to find his groove now. Yeah, no matter how great of an athlete you are, sometimes it takes a while when you've gone. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Reigns locked and loaded. He's got Drew McIntyre in his sights. McIntyre woozy. Oh, oh wait a minute. McIntyre planted him. Spinebuster. Cover. Kick out by Reigns at two. Can you imagine if Roman Reigns does not win this match and has to walk out of Buffalo knowing that the chip that he has on his shoulder since. The greatest Royal Rumble will continue to be there week after week, month after month. It's a month. very real possibility, Coach, especially when you look at the current situation. McIntyre dominating the big dog. The bottom line is this, guys. Reigns wants to silence the critics. He's got a win tonight. And now Balor with a steel chair to the spine of McIntyre. Legal and payback for earlier on tonight. I think Drew just forgot about Finn. I think it's as simple as that. I think Drew may have just taken the fact that Finn was down for granted. Yeah. And now Finn Balor, will he use the steel chair on Roman Reigns? I it's would. about an opportunity to go to SummerSlam. Balor, is, Balor now wearing out the big dog. Finn is throttling Roman Reigns with that steel chair, and it's perfectly legal. And if it's me, I'm not stopping. I would just keep going, tune him up. And a couple of years of frustration that is building and building within Finn Balor ever since relinquishing the Universal Championship due to injury. And he wants the opportunity back. Oh. And now he drives McIntyre into the barricade. Does he want to make a point or does he want to win the match? They gotta keep both of his other opponents down long enough to capitalize on one of them. I guess. Yes. McIntyre, of course, trying to... Oh, man! What a spear! Stepping out of the way and averting disaster. And how did Finn even see Roman Reigns coming? Peripheral vision, coach, but right now, Finn. Slick lay! There are brains <laughs> everywhere. Roman just cut McIntyre clean in half with a brutal spear. Finn with a sling blade, and Balor could be closing in on next week's opportunity. Oh, they want this so badly. Another sling blade to Roman Reigns. There are no countouts or disqualifications, but the pinballer submission must take place inside the ring. And that's where Balor is. Oh, oh, oh. Reigns to advance it. to next week with a win. Oh. Kicks out at two. It wasn't a great cover. Look in the eyes of Roman Reigns right now. It's almost as if you could see the doubt creeping into the big dog. For the first time in a long time, Reigns doesn't know what he's got to do. I am always amazed at how much Finn is able to get out of himself. Boom! A Superman punch right on target. Topple Balor, but Finn still fights on. And, and now, Corey, to your point, Roman's talking to himself, and it, it's getting to the point now, with all the frustration that's been building for Reigns over the last six months, is he doubting himself? Is he not believing anymore? Does he believe he can get the job done tonight? Well, it's one thing to say, it's my yard, I'm the big dog, all of that. It's another thing to prove it. And these are the nights that you got to prove it. you got to get the job done. Reigns again measuring Finn Balor, looking to put Balor away and win this match up here tonight. Oh. Balor with a kick to the skull. Oh! Drop kicks Reigns right into that turnbuckles. Finn's going up top. Oh, look how quick he is. Drew McIntyre just played spoiler for Finn Balor's hopes of victory. 
There is no question in my mind, Finn would have pinned Roman for three. Well, he was close. He was at two before McIntyre pulled him off the cover. I don't know that anybody in Buffalo not named Drew McIntyre would have disagreed with you, Coach. I think everyone bought in on that one. Yeah, I'm amazed. These three came out tonight, had no idea that they would be asked to be in a triple threat match with so much on the line. And what they're giving us to kick off Raw, amazing. Drew could be thinking about a Claymore. Flatten Balor, pick up a three count, and head to next week. Here it comes. Right. Roman Reigns with a super bad punch. Oh, Roman Balor Reigns. from behind, scoops him up. Oh. Check out by Roman. Super bad punch to Balor. Oh, Glasgow oh, kiss. The playing field is even right now. Which man's going to shake out the cobwebs first? Critical moment in this match. McIntyre to his feet. Is he looking for the Claymore to put Reigns away? Oh. And he takes out Balor. The Claymore connected, maybe. Superman no. punch to Drew. Not with the intended target. Here comes Roman. Spear. Cover by Reigns. Roman Reigns is a step closer to SummerSlam. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. What a battle from three of Monday Night. Superstars, Roman Reigns outlasts the others and could be headed to Suplex City. Yeah, Roman Reigns did a phenomenal job of really moving around. What a match it was. But guys, I, I'm afraid he's got some broken ribs because he's still grabbing that midsection. Oh, wow. Drew, Drew McIntyre right. might have a couple cracked ribs of his own after that wicked spear. Balor had everybody in Buffalo and around the globe believing. Balor Club was heading to next week. Coup de Grasse right on target. But Drew McIntyre still had enough left in the tank to stop Finn's hopes. Yeah, and then it was Balor and Drew battling outside the ring. And now the Claymore kick intended for Reigns, but instead delivered to Balor. A Superman punch would take out Drew. And then a spear to Finn. And Roman Reigns is a step closer to Brock. Lesnar. We don't have consolation prizes here on Monday Night Raw. If we did, certainly we'd hand them to Finn and Drew, but they wouldn't want them. It's about Roman Reigns and the fact that next week, for all the marbles to head to SummerSlam, he will be a part of that match. But will he face Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley, or Elias? We'll find out his opponent later on tonight. Baby, sorry about that. It's been one of those nights. Yeah. Where's Sasha? <clears throat> well, she's holed up in her locker room. Figures. Classic Sasha. Just all she worries about is herself. She's not even here when you're supposed to tell us to be here. Well, let me know. The friendship counseling. How'd it go? Uh, it didn't go so well. Really? Look, Kurt, I tried. I really tried. I did everything I can. I was open and honest. I was trying to meet Sasha halfway, and I, I think Sasha tried too, but... It just didn't work. And it's kind of hard for me to say this, but I don't think Sasha and I will be together ever again. Well, I think you're wrong about that. Listen, I've been going about this the wrong way. Here on Raw, we sell things in the ring. So you and Sasha are gonna team up together tonight to take on Dana Brooke and Alicia Fox. Two women that would love the opportunity. All right, kiddos, I just wanna make sure you can hear me. Put a one in the chat if you can hear my voice pretty, please. Just uh, doing a little mic check, one, two, one, two, sibilance. I will be right there shortly. I'm dealing with a little fun thing, so uh, let me know if you can hear me. Check one, two, sibilance, one in the chat. Thanks, guys. And that's never going to work. Well, there is the Intercontinental Champion and the Iron Man, Dolph Ziggler, who there. survived a match with Did Seth you? Rollins right, last right, night. Enough, enough. Dolph Ziggler is here live next. At Burger King, get two of these delicious sandwiches for just six bucks. Like our flame-grilled Whopper, made with 100% beef. Mix or match a Whopper with a crispy chicken or spicy crispy chicken. It's the two-for-six mix or match deal, only at Burger King. Whether you're looking for someone special. Oh, gosh. 
or just feeling a little lonely. Do you think I'm ridiculous throwing a party for my dog? I would say that bouncy house is over the top. For four strangers. I think you two are perfect for each other. He kind of looks dumb, but in a kind way. Man's best friend. I'm not allowed to have dogs in my building, so you cannot bark like this. Is the best matchmaker. Got them out? I know someone's in there. Oh, my. It's a dog. It's a dog. Oh, oh hi, puppy. Dog Days. Rated PG. Look at Emmanuel Sanders. He's using his entire face. If you think this is extra. Yeah! If you think this is savage. Oh! And if you think this is as epic as it gets. Think again. Are you guys close? Crazier challenges. More competitive stars. And a whole new way to play along with the Nickelodeon Screens Up app. Are y'all ready for this? It's all going down at Kids Choice Sports. On Nickelodeon. Check your guide. When you buy a used car, you should feel confident. That's why CarMax has over 40,000 cars to choose from nationwide, with prices clearly marked the same online as they are in the stores. That should give you some car buying confidence, the type of confidence you need to wear white after Labor Day, the type of confidence to suddenly switch to an English accent for no reason whatsoever. Yep, at CarMax, it's all about confidence. Nothing but net. Nailed it. Or should I say, nailed it, governor. Pizza Hut always has the $7.99 deal you can get delivered. So why go anywhere else? Don't just make it pizza night. Make it Pizza Hut pizza night and get your favorites delivered. Large two-topping pizzas, just $7.99. Order online now. One more way no one out pizzas the Hut. Are the credit cards in your wallet actually the best ones for you? At NerdWallet, we sort through hundreds of credit cards to find the top cards for balance transfer, travel, earning rewards, and other perks. Using your unique info to narrow the search, NerdWallet makes it easy to find credit cards that work harder than the ones you have now. Stop missing out. Visit NerdWallet.com to find the cards that are made for you. My prescriptions used to be really expensive, but then I went to GoodRx.com. It just works. You put in the drug you're looking for, and bang, you've got half a dozen or more choices in front of you of pricing and locations to get it. You never think about shopping around for medication prices. I have good insurance, but with good RX, I save even more money. What? I was paying how much? <laughs> and it's absolutely free. No cost to me whatsoever. I get to save $1,180 a year with good RX. This is awesome. Go to goodrx.com and check it out. To business. We came here for revenge. We've been at war, but in this thing here, I'm with you. You willing to sacrifice your life for this man? Yes. Remy Ma guest stars. Run on the floor or your brain's on a wall. Queen of the Sun, an all-new episode Thursday at 9 on USA. The Smartest Superstar is presented by Control GX, the first shampoo that gradually reduces gray. Bobby the Brain Heenan. You listen to me, you go to the top. Manager to the stars. He was just a ham and egger when I took him from nothing and made him. Master of the witty rejoinder. Is that a ball? It's a little ragged. I'll, I'll get it. you. And a virtuoso in the art of the insult. If you'll keep your mouth shut, you might learn something. Nice hat. Pull that over your face. I'm a gentleman, regardless of what these humanoids have to say. When all these other so-called managers go to bed, I'm still up. And when they get up, I've been up. Bobby the Brain Heenan, the smartest superstar we'll get an argument from me on the Bobby the brain in and absolutely not ladies and gentlemen please welcome the intercontinental champion Dolph well, ladies and gentlemen, it was last night at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view event where Dolph Ziggler was defending the Intercontinental Championship versus Seth Rollins in a 30-minute Iron Man match where the most falls in 30 minutes means you become champion. Let's take you to the early part of the matchup. And Seth Rollins was out to an early lead. But Drew McIntyre would make his presence felt. McIntyre would viciously attack Seth Rollins, leading to a disqualification and another fall in favor of the Kingslayer. Eventually, McIntyre was sent back to the locker room, but by this point, the damage had already been done. Yeah, but Dolph Ziggler would make his way back, tying things at four apiece. And in the closing moments of the matchup, Rollins would hit the stomp 
but the clock would run out before he had the opportunity to pick up the win. Well, Dolph Ziggler would retain his Intercontinental Championship at the moment by draw until Kurt Angle came out in order that the match be restarted under sudden death rules. Yeah, then Drew McIntyre would come out into the matchup. Rollins uh, would try to ward off McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler would hit the zigzag, winning the match with the most falls and retaining the Intercontinental title. You know, last night at Extreme Rules, all I did was everything I said I was going to do. All right, guys. I'm here. Finally. I know. It took me a little bit. Had some things I got to take care of. I'm going to let you listen to Dolph while we go into this, and uh, I'll be right back for you. Move over, Robert Downey Jr. I'm more of a Black Sabbath fan because I am Iron Man. And I'm still All right, well, he just made that too good. Move over, Robert Downey Jr. I'm more of a Sabbath fan because wow. I am Iron Man. Now, now it all makes sense. Last night. The Intercontinental but what the fuck? Happy Ruse Seth Day. Hoopa, what's WWE going on, Birch? I know, I'm I'm sorry. Years. I know I made you guys wait a whole other 30 minutes. My my apologies, guys. I like I said. And that sure as hell was just having to take Seth some Rollins. stuff. Uh, take care of some stuff. Michael Goodman <laughs> eats ass though. Mm -mm. I came back to Rome Delicioso. I, I hope there's no uh, chocolate nougat. I sure as hell wasn't kidding around. Now, Did I steal eight I bombs? Not quite. Give credit no. Where it's due. No, it's. Seth it had Rollins, nothing to do with me, Hoopa. I respect. So I just happened to unfortunately to be there. So. What it is you know. Today. I had to go be an adult. But you're no Dolph Ziggler, brother. No, no, it all made sense. But he goes from <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Like. Seth Rollins, why didn't he just say move over Tony Stark? Not Robert twice, Downey Jr. Three times, four times, I beat you five times. Okay. Didn't we see Bobby Roode versus Ziggler already? Buffalo, New York, give me a Yep, eight of them. What's going on, Sam? Uh, was last night the most boring pay-per-view ever? No. Backlash was the most boring pay-per-view ever. I, I still don't think last night was as bad as Backlash. Still don't. I know a lot of people are putting it up there, but I don't think it was as bad as Backlash. Absolutely not. I don't but have, I don't have a cord, I don't got nothing. To Drew McIntyre. <laughs> Woof, I, mean, I am it, running rough Drew, right now. You wouldn't be out here in this One second, kiddos. Bragging right now. I mean, you should be on your hands and knees thanking Drew McIntyre. Because if it wasn't for him, I mean, you'd probably be down to some stand-up comedy club telling some bad jokes. Hey, that, that reminds me, Bobby. Last night while I was headlining hey, that pay-per-view Extreme Rules and retaining my championship, how fun was it watching me from the sidelines? Oh, right to the hat. Well, if I'm going to be honest, Dolph, the sidelines suck. And as a matter of fact, that's why I'm out <laughs> here right now. No, I don't know about that. I had a good time. To Actually, what I think was we at 2017 Fastlane? Or was that 2016? Right now. Happy Roman is a puppy day? 
I like the sound of that. What? Apparently Dolph does it. Um, uh, uh, no, you don't, you don't want to do it? You don't want to, what? You afraid that you can't do it on your own, Dolph? Panda. I can do any, I can do it, I can do it. You want a match? You want a match? You got it. Referee, referee, get out here right now. Zero better be careful. He competed in a 30-minute Ironman match less than 24 hours ago. Well, there's an official on his way out to the ring now, which means he's going to roll Manager out Kurt and be like, no. Nope. Sanction this matchup tonight. Come on, this isn't the first time. What's going on, Steve? Nobody was expecting it to be good. I know I didn't expect it to be good. It was 2017 no, no, you were no, doing I this stream. That would just be match. last February. No, February before. Yeah, I was at Fastlane. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Not hey, ready. let's go. Ring the bell. Classic Ziggler. Well, nonetheless, this match may Who did I kill? Toss, Your mama. Opportunity for Bobby Roode to get oh. it for the championship as he looks for the glorious DDT early on. Oh, yeah, on. it'll be price right, and Despite shipping and, like, 15 bucks. Opportunity. Well, it bait and switch. It was simply assumption. You saw major... Oh, MLW? How was that? I was there, too. They actually cut me off from the beer lines. They cut you off from the beer lines? That's how you know you're drunk. Let's go. Dolph said if you want a match, you can have a match. I mean, I had a good time. It was for the Intercontinental you know what happens when you assume I think Mama Wookie had a good time, too. It's one on one, but a win for Rude would put him in the driver's seat. We're not at two years quite yet, Future. And a lot of what that was about, well, that was a year ago. So we're, we're coming up on two years. Let's see. be the Intercontinental Champion today. Seth Rollins got out to a 3-0 lead last night. When tribute to the troops, whatever tribute to the troops is, that will be the two-year mark. We've uh, been doing these. People, people, the police were at his house. Take all the immigrants. He was. I, how, who told you, Price? Who told you I was stashing all those illegals in the basement, doing my sweatshop work? Damn it, Price! It's actually Baba Wookie. Baba Wookie's. Baba Wookie goes across the border, gets a bunch of Mexicans, and makes them all do her homework. It was a great Iron Man match. It, it was okay. Like, great is not, I don't know if I'd call it great. It was all right. I, I honestly thought it was going to be better. I mean, Ziggler's a good worker. Rollins is a good worker. Only two like, you would think they would work well career. together. They've the had good matches in the past. I uh, why wouldn't it be better? And it just, it wasn't, it didn't live up to expectation. You got everything? Don't make Amanda Bobby your mule. Bobby She's not my, if anybody's anybody's mule, I'm Amanda's mule. I gotta get bets up for you guys. So guys, obviously, if you're paying attention, uh, I'm gonna bet it all. Uh, okay, so Ashley for bets. I'm gonna bet on Ziggler. Eighty-five. Is there a bet? Oh, I took away the bet limit. Oh wait, no, I did do a max bet limit. I'm sorry, I didn't realize there was a bet limit. My bad, dude. The glorious one, Bobby Roode, though, not going to wait for that to happen. He's going to take the fight. You can only the bet a hundred. There's no way Dolph Ziggler's feeling 100 percent tonight. My Roode. bad, guys. I didn't realize there was a bet limit. Yeah, you can only bet a hundred coins. On that point, Corey, it was a hell of a battle and incredible. Betting gone shit again. Last night at Extreme Rules. I will change that next time. I will change that. My apologies. I did not see that there was a betting limit. I will 110% change that. Me and Wookie watching the pack smoke a fat blunt one day. Nice and legal in the big Wisconsin. 
Dude, we're gonna we're five years behind everybody. I have a little bit of extra respect for Dolph Ziggler after last night. I mean, figure if it's a if it's a boxing championship fight and you go through all twelve rounds, the commissioner can't just add a thirteenth round like Angle did last night. And there we go, and another drop kick by Dolph Ziggler right to the face of Bobby Roode. Hey, Seth Rollins went through hey, the same Bobby Roode. Thing I wish Ziggler I could post did. it. I wish there was like a link like I could post tonight, like I did before you guys. Lashley and Elias for an opportunity to meet Roman Reigns next but week. But there's cool, just none. Corey, to Corey's point, instead of being upset that the match continued, he adjusted. It's only going to it's, it's going to drop the zero. It's going to make you bet 18, yeah, he Teddy. He was ready to go. He was ready to cover. I'm talking about Ziggler, of course. Yeah. And Dolph Ziggler now looks to put this one away. Here's the cover on Rude, hooks the leg, and Bobby kicks out. Wait, okay, so you had 180. Did you bet incorrupt incorrectly? Ziggler, it took resume. coins for me. One of the uh, the best superstars of the past 10 to 15 years here in WWE. I don't think there's any. Hey, Amanda. He's a multiple time Can you come here? world champion. And Bobby Rude I guess. Delivers a right of his own, and then a chop and root fighting back into this match. Uh, so let's see. He did bat zero, 180. Tried just doing 100. So you also have to think it's not just about the bat zero, 100. Jiren, we are on, like the name, by the way. We are on, um, we're flat out on the journey. We're on Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler. I'm guessing this is for the IC title match. Dolph is trying to take control as this match continues live. Yeah, okay. So if, if you bet over 100, it won't, it'll take, it won't do anything. And you can finally have Domino's delivered to every single one of them. No address? Yeah, because I'm looking at a lot of you guys. Find a Domino's hotspot near you. Excuse me. You get two medium, two topping pizzas delivered for $5.99. And uh, I can see a lot of your stuff. So, um, so if you bet over 100, don't bet over 100 until I can change it. Oh, how about this? Next round. I'll, I'll get rid of the, the maximum. Just kidding. We're not gonna stop. Not sorry, Reese's. Ah oh, shit. Don't just settle for All right, guys, give me a quick yeah, second. I will be well, right to back. Oh, you know what? I don't even Reese's. have that right. Like meat eater. Let's get rid crust, of uh, the paper Hawaiian, deal. And new Italian flatbreads. And, um, the buffet's a better way. Cece's. And now for the ring. Yeah, we'll do that one. I will be right back. Into the and we're I'm a four-year-old ring bearer with a bad habit of swallowing stuff. I still won't eat my broccoli, though. And if you don't have the right coverage, you could be paying for that pricey love band yourself. So get an Allstate agent and be better protected from mayhem like me. Can a ring bearer get a snack around here? You're made of trillions of cells. They work together doing important stuff. The hitch? Like you, your cells get hungry. Feed them with Centrum Micronutrients. Restoring your awesome daily. Centrum, feed your cells. Oh my gosh, I think that's real. What the hell? Leave us alone! Get out of there now! Unfriended Dark Web, rated R. Ooh. Grab an umbrella, kids, because Dad's going to make it rain. Trey Trey's. He's saying he's going to score a bunch of three-pointers on you. Yeah, we fall till we fall. There are multiples on the table. One is cash, three are FHA, one is VA. So what can you do? She's saying a whole lot of people want to buy this house. But you got this. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans makes the complex simple. Understand the details and get approved in as few as eight minutes by America's largest mortgage lender. Are those my shorts? I punish the guilty. It's a mistake to go to war with him. They're going to war with me. It's go time! Stay tuned for a USA special look of The Equalizer 2 in theaters Friday. Rachel and I were offered a chance to run a firm in Seattle. Harvey, Mike left. And you are the man who wants back in the game. I can play dirty just as well as you. I am a partner. Any questions? What have I gotten myself into? Got yourself into Zane Specter Lip Suits. New season premieres Wednesday at 9 on USA. 
And we're back live on Monday Night Raw. Dolph Ziggler, Bobby Roode, impromptu matchup here tonight. Not for the Intercontinental Championship, but a critical match for Roode as he jockeys for position to get a title opportunity. What you're seeing right now is Dolph Ziggler employing one of the very same tactics that served him so well last night in the Iron Man match. Got the rear chin lock applied, just wearing Bobby Roode down without exerting too much energy. Yeah, that Iron Man match last night, 30 minutes, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, the, the ebbs and flows in that match, the way that Dolph Ziggler settled things down to really take control of set moments there was just incredible. And I think Dolph is showing us tonight just exactly what he has left in the tank, and it's a lot. And Bobby Roode looking to fight back into this important night for the glorious one as well. Bobby Roode, who of course oh came to Monday Night Raw from SmackDown Live and the Superstar Shake-Up a few yeah. months ago. Looking to find his footing here on Monday nights. And now Ziggler to the sleeper hold, which we thought was going to take out Seth on a number of occasions last night. But Roode able to uh, create separation and follow up with a closing. Roode knew he was in jeopardy with how well Ziggler utilizes the sleeper hold. Bobby Roode starting to build some momentum, but here comes Ziggler. Oh, uh, no. What a slam. Hey, let's be honest, guys. This was as smart as you could get if you're Bobby Roode. You know he was sitting around all day thinking, you know what? Dolph Ziggler isn't 100%. I can go out, show the WWE Universe and everybody else how great I am against a champion that is not 100%. He's not great, coach. He's glorious. Yeah. Now Roode splashing Ziggler into the corner, looking for a bulldog sent into the corner by Ziggler. Follows it up with double boots to the face. And now Bobby Roode with a block. Maybe and Roode firing up this WWE Universe crowd here tonight in Buffalo. I gotta give him a Limit Lama wants the snaps. Because uh, he's glorious, which is nice about this one. Is there's no time. I don't have to set a timer. Right to the knee. I can just let the bets go. The shitty thing about it is is that there is literally no way to put it on the screen. So, you know, perks, what do they call that, uh, pros and cons, zigzag. I'm right here, Shane. Never here. I have one bad night in Jesus Christ. You're never here. Pat Patterson, the fuck y'all got to call it? Cop and feels on wheels. I'm very, very, very I would say you could with Bobby Root here tonight. Go kick Donnie in the Bobby nuts. Everything he's accomplished in his but he left career. them in Vlad's mouth. What the Ziggler fuck? With a zigzag out of nowhere and Root able to kick out. So I have to. to finish things off with the I missed beat. something. Boom, Ziggler just a step ahead. Unfortunately for an exhausted Dolph, it wasn't the end yet. Yeah, that's a great word, exhausted, because Dolph's like, really? I had to come out here tonight and put it in another I have no idea. What's, are we on the road to 7,500? I went through Is that a thing? Did we get, uh, did we get to 74? A match tonight. He was expected to come out I mean, we were only road. a few away. I know that. Bobby Roode made the challenge. And now Dolph Ziggler measuring Bobby Roode back to his feet. I know we Over did. We were kick. close. Ow, oh, 74-13. Uh -oh. Thank and you guys so much. You know what? I gotta go through everybody. I'm sure I missed quite a few of you guys while I was doing my thing. But who do we gotta thank? Uh, of all the people in here, we gotta thank Yunz Barad, Emily Hernandez, Petroch Sevens, Harry Van Steck, and Bron Brown's Boogie. Thank you guys so much. Too sweet to you guys. And I give you the bell. And don't tell me that every superstar does not understand the time of the year that it is. We are not in focus. Well, let's bring it down because I got it on my TV right now. Let's make sure. And Ziggler looking to take Let's make advantage. sure we're at least in focus. I mean, for crying out freaking loud. But I got it on the TV right now, which is, um, you'd think bigger is better. Uh, not in this case, just closer is better. I guess. He tweaked it. Oh, that's super kick. We've never seen one of those before. Of course, Dolph got it. Pick winner. His knee when he came off the rope, and Dolph Ziggler, ever the opportunist, would take advantage tonight. There we yeah, go. Really there it, it is. All right. Well, 
Let me take this out. And it has been quite the night here on Monday Night Raw. There we go. Kicks off with our general manager Kurt Angle and his ultimatum for the Universal perfect. Champion Brock Lesnar. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Be stripped of your championship. Brock didn't show up, but his advocate Paul Heyman did. But I'm going to keep this simple. Brock Lesnar. Oh, okay. I see what you guys are saying. At SummerSlam. Or he is no longer. Are we champion. having problems in the chat? Is that a thing that's like happening right now? Or a lot, a lot of douche no in there? Respond. You drive a For your coins, no, there are no prizes, You're but there are games. Uh, there's Brock a heist, will a duel. I don't know what the duel is. Uh, a free for all, so, so a boss battle. Face? Brock Lesnar at you know what? How are we well, doing on we our boss battle? We're getting there. We're getting there. Where the winners would face next week. But you know what? Let's do this. Let's uh, let's try heist. Let's take you to the first triple threat match, which kicked off Monday Night Raw tonight. Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, and Drew McIntyre. What an incredible battle! The physicality was off the charts. Reigns, McIntyre, and Balor all vying for the opportunity to head to next week. And just when it seemed that Finn Balor had victory in hand. Games, how sad. How sad what? McIntyre would rear his head and stop Balor's path to SummerSlam. Yeah, at this point, we really thought it was anybody's ball game. And right here, Drew McIntyre. It'll play. It's a, a two-minute delay. You just made the list. Oh, who just made my list? Is that Alyssa Jim? Is that what I'm seeing there? Alyssa Jim hitting that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Too sweet to you. And I'll give you the bow. We're on that road to 7,500. Guys, that was my goal for the rest of this year. Uh, in, if we could hit it in July, that'd be great. Uh, wow. Can you imagine? That was my year's goal. I set that goal January 1st of this year, obviously. I said I wanted to uh, hit it by the end of the year. And I, didn't, I, I, I was like, ah, that's a hefty goal. But uh, we fucking hit it, man. We're, we're we hit seventy four. Nothing's ever no given. Man. We're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Uh, Luke me. Birch is trying to get a team I together in order to and the ability to slay the beast that some join. I you just made the list. Ah, oh, who else we champion. got? I can't see it up there. This is this is ridiculous. I got to move it. We got Michael Rathburn hitting the subscribe button. Too oh sweet to you, Michael. God, low, low, With the bow. Thank you very much. Um, there you go. That's a little controversy. better. With the bow. Thank you. Shinsuke Nakamura. Tomorrow night, Jeff Hardy. One of the best to ever step through the doors of WWE. Shinsuke Nakamura. As I try to get my soundboard up here too, because my phone died. It died. Die, Cooter. No, we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Um. No. No, I don't like that. This is a boneless wing bash, and with all this for just five bucks, my five dollar boneless wing bash makes a really great party. We're just gonna have. We're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Gonna have to do it. You're doing anything for 7,500, hitting the goal so easy as it seems, dude. Nothing's ever given on YouTube, brother. Nothing's ever given. You gotta earn it. So you know what? I'm not gonna count my chickens before they hatch. But um, casualties have fallen, but the remainder of the team managed to make it out of the bank. All right. So that was heist. Let's try this one. That was heist. We're going to go challenge. Challenge is a duel. Whatever the fuck that means. But uh, for coins, coins aren't going to get you anything. Tim Fox, what up, motherfucker? Long time no see. I saw you here a few weeks back, but haven't seen you since. 
So are why are we having two triple matches when we all know we're getting Reigns versus Lashley too? Dude, I, I don't understand. Well, okay, so Reigns versus Lashley too. Does that give us the opportunity? No. It doesn't give us a rubber match, does it? You like the new betting format? I'm glad. This is something I'm trying to streamline stream a lot of things. Fuzzbot takes up a shit ton of resources, number one. Number two, it's it's not a thing anymore. It doesn't exist. So, you know, it's one of those things like, what do you do? You know, Wookie, I want Rollins to lose so Roman and then Roman beat. Wait, what? I want Rollins to lose to Roman. And then Roman beat Lesnar in less than seven seconds at SummerSlam. Oh. Oh, you dirty monkey. That's dirty. Dirty, dirty. We all lose on that one. Nobody wins. We all lose. We all took a big we all take a big L on that one. Fuck coins, play with real money. We used to try that. Didn't work out so well. Did challenge not go through? Um, I saw somebody else do challenge. Teddy got robbed buying weed. That's a thing. Don't buy so much, man. We could do a hash. One of these free for all. The Purge. 10 episode television event. The arena is now open. Alright, I'll type FFA to join. WWE is trying to make uh, up. Wait, makes up feeling sympathy for a 6'3, 260 pound grown man. Wait, what? Trying to make us. I'm guessing this was trying to make us feel sympathy. Nobody's feeling sympathy for Roman. Nobody feeling sympathy for Roman. Not a soul. Not even me. They're going to use Rude to try to get the useless shit mojo over. And you're Man. supposed to be glorious. Who cares? Does anybody give a fuck about Raleigh? Out of action as he recovers from successful shoulder surgery. Breeze is going to go one on one tonight with the upstart Mojo Raleigh. Ah, really? It's Breeze versus Raleigh. Should I even put that one in? You know what? The one mini game in here. There's no flip coin. That's disappointing. I just realized that there's no flip coin. Oh, bitches! What up? The Wookie has emerged. Poopa bets are incoming. Uh, are they doing that go? No, they're there. They just, the it hasn't said it yet. Uh, what up? Come at me, bruh. Different Mojo Raleigh in recent wow. weeks. Raleigh trying to focus, trying to get back oh. into the championship hunt here at yeah. some point on Monday Night Raw. Big opportunity for Tyler Breeze as well, having Fandango on the shelf after a surgery. Breeze could really establish himself as an individual What up, superstar. motherfuckers? It's at a time where we saw it earlier. I am your right winner. Now. You see an opening at this time of the year. You've got Another mini game. We got free for all. And then we got boss battle. That was a 
has incredible physicality. Omojo Raleigh, an incredible athlete, an incredible football Let's try player bounce. as well. At the like a bounce. As he crawls now into a cover, hooks the leg on Breeze, and a kick out University of Maryland. He holds several all-time records for To fight a boss. Will you join him? Will you join me? 265, we ran the 40 in 4.78 seconds. Oh, look at that. We do all sorts of stuff. He says, you know what? If nobody I like else it. is going to push me, I'm going to push myself. Mojo now just spending time. You're chewing on, on your fingers. As well as physically. I've known Mojo for a long time since he stepped inside the doors of WWE. Down at the Performance Center, but even before that, Mojo is a completely different human being right now. This is not the Cash same guy. in my pants, and I WWE ate a friend to show it. Cover, hook of the leg and a kick out. That Mojo Raleigh was talking about being hyped all the time, having a good time, laughing. I'm the mage for this boss battle. Fans, but Fire nowhere. Magic so Missile! Be more intense. On, Beat people up. There's a time and a place, but when you get inside the square circle, you got to say, you know what? This is where I have to get serious. Where this is, is where your mother? My living is made. Finish him. Mojo needs to string together a couple of more victories. You live with your mom. Mo you're mo you're mo not a winner, so guys. Little I am opening up the phone little lines. Little is that kind of day? I might have food in my mouth. You might have to take over the stream for me because I'm hungry. But I'm opening up the phone lines right now as we call in 414-292-9344. If you guys so desire, Shane doesn't like Wookie. Why is that? I don't even know who Shane is. But if he's Shane from The Walking Dead, he's a dick. And I don't like it. Just about takes out Breeze. Acceleration by uh, Mojo. Freaky by Lord. What a collision. He went from the <laughs> to the I only use Levitate. I use it on my own. I use it on my own junk. Okay. No, the old betting system ain't coming back. This is here to stay. Fuzz spots officially dead, dead, dead. Like, and they're taking away features as we as we go. So. Is Mojo Raleigh. Let's see what else we got. Wow, I can see all you guys. That's crazy. I can literally see everyone that's in here. It's another thing to do it to Tyler Breeze. You're absolutely right. Let's take a look at some of this incredible physicality. Mojo just turning Breeze inside out. And then Mojo said, lights out. I don't understand what this and does. Tyler Breeze could not object because, well, quite frankly, I don't think he was conscious at the time. And here Mojo Raleigh picks up the victory. I'm not sure what Monday this is. Coach, so we're going to find out. This hour to get your word in. No, no, I got it in. It was opening. I just slipped it in oh, to the opening. <laughs> we're going to find out what this does. Mojo, very impressive here tonight. Monday Have AJ Lee so return to feud with Bailey, Becky or Enzo nice return to feud with Mojo? They're being forced to team together tonight by Kurt Angle, and they have to get what? along because if they don't, one of these ladies is being shipped to SmackDown oh, Live. My poor heart couldn't handle that. I don't know why. All right, we got. Test one another. Oh, did it answer it? Yeah, it sure did. We got the one, the only Luke Birch, the man himself, calling it. What's going on, Birch Birch? 1875. <laughs> I'm just calling in for one simple Hold reason. On, one second, I got you. way blown out of proportion. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's see, let's try there. Hello, hello, you got you're, you're good, you're good. Hello? Yeah, you're good now. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling in for one simple reason. Yes. Teddy, what? Wait, what? How long is your shirt? Be I'm, I'm calling to call out Teddy. Oh, you're how calling out Teddy? Okay. Out you mean Teddy the loser uh, in the uh, chat? Uh, <laughs> yeah. What about Teddy? Your shirt has been out for how long now? Well, you bought it. Mine's been out 24 hours. Get on my level, bitch. And Luke has two. Right? <laughs> or just the one? I've just ordered the one. Oh. How long do those take to get to you overseas? Just out of curiosity. Do you know where you Normally, um, between three and four weeks. Oh, okay. That's not terrible. I've ordered things from Japan before and China, and it normally takes, like, between three and four months. 
So that's that's actually Jesus not uh, that's not terrible at all. I'm still waiting on a lightsaber from China. <laughs> I ordered I ordered a black I series know. replica, nicey nice lightsaber. It's still not here. So let me let me you ask know. you real quick: Are you enjoying the new system we got? It it's fine. I know it's gonna take some getting used to. Of course. I, I realize that, but we're gonna streamline everything, almost everything, through Streamlabs. That way, and I'm surprised it didn't pop up because I actually, because even now through Streamlabs and YouTube. I have connected. Um, I've connected Teespring. Here, buddy. No, no. God damn. Uh, so it should even pop up like when you guys buy T-shirts and all that shit on the screen. Now it might have popped up. Obviously, you bought it last night, so it probably popped up already. I, I don't know. I got to go back and see. I I never saw anything. It might it might have meh. done it right away as soon as you placed the order. I'm not sure. More than likely. All right, Luke. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna get some other. Actually, I'm gonna go get Mama Wookie. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you for all the support, Luke. We love you. Much love. All right. Um, I'm gonna actually go grab Mama Wookie here real quick, because um, Llama's going bananas. So I'm gonna turn the volume up for you guys real quick. I know it's been kind of a rough night on fucking everything, so I'm gonna turn uh, turn the volume up for you guys, and uh, you guys go ahead and do your thing. Oh, is that gonna be her? Is that her coming in? No, that's people outside. All right, I'll be right back. Out of air for this. <gasps> What happened? Oh. I must have the wrong microphone turned off. Can I am so much better. Oh, then go watch him. Ain't nobody got time for you. I find it funny that. I find it funny. Yeah, you're about to get banned here too, homie. 
it definitely ranks down there. Well, fuck you board. too, CB so Pathak. Kelly starting things off with Alicia Fox in our matchup tonight. Both of these women, former women champion. You know, like any, any good fight. I'm calling the name of Dana Brooks first porn right now. What originally started Tight ass, ass worldwide. So Love it. So Print it. Send it to the presses. Kick out by Fox. I just received a very interesting tweet from a. Oh, all right. Goodbye. Who said that he would goodbye, like Sammy. To volunteer to Have a good day. Move along. Here's the cover Shane, Fox. he banned you for. Woo! He did. Teddy with that fire. There it is, right there, coach. We don't read our tweets during the show, Mike. That's why I love Teddy. And look at Dana Brooke now. No volume? You should be getting volume. Are you not getting volume? If you're not getting volume, please do that to me now. I actually know the statistics as far as Dana Brooke goes on this one. Dana Brooke and any partner are undefeated against a tag team that has been in therapy within the last two weeks. Really? That's right. Unbelievable stat. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta stop. I gotta get used to this new interface, too. And now Bailey with the right hand. And look at Bailey fighting back. And Bailey takes down Dana Brooke, and Bailey taking out all her frustrations here tonight on Brooke in this matchup. You know, all kidding aside, it is very hard to find faces, oh, heels, and have at thee, and all of you. Somebody just walk away after all these years. Oh, to your point, Coach Bailey. And oh, 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 his live stream so blows. Oh. But perhaps not completely focused on this match tonight. Will allow Dana and Alicia to pick up the. Oh, you kids! Victory. You're so adorable. The ring. You know, in any business, you never want your. And look at Alicia Fox now. Drugs is definitely not a uh, a suitable thing for all those of you out there. Let's see who do we got. We, we got a few people. Fuck you! This live stream blows. Why don't you uh, go ahead dial that number? Give me a jingle. We can talk about how this live stream blows. That was nice. What is this? Teary eyed. I'm leaving you at ringside. Shit. God damn. Turned into one of them already. Ow. Oh, shit. Really? I mean, this match must not be on much longer. Wait, who the fuck? That's one of the NXT girls in there. All right, so maybe I'm wrong, but Sasha didn't care about the match. Uh, no, she cared about her. Here comes the part where Sasha stabs Bailey in the back. That's not Alicia again. Fox, is it? Friend. That looks like one of the NXT girls. Uh, I mean, I didn't see it, but. Bailey out. Perhaps it's as simple as this. Hey, I can have my problems with, with Bailey, but I'm not allowing anyone else to beat up my former best friend. Well, they just handed away a match. Nobody handed beats up Bailey except for me. All right, well, moving on later tonight. Boy, this is going to be something else. <laughs> if this is as good as our first triple threat. Oh, you hear it now? Okay, yeah, that's strange. Classic. Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley, and I'm going to eat my pizza on stream, too. We'll face Roman Reigns next mm. Monday. The winner of that will face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam for the Universal title. So much on the line. Because I normally eat night. before the stream, but I didn't get a chance last to. Last night was one of the most stunning moments we have ever witnessed as Braun Strowman sent Kevin Owens off the top of a steel cage. We're going to have an update on KO's condition tonight. Outrageous amounts of toppings with Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest. With the most cheese and now with the most toppings at the nation's best price. Create your well, favorite pizza muted starting because, uh, at uh, six bucks. Pay you and your 15 subscribers, uh, Brandon. Pizza. At CarMax, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. Because maybe you're already buying a car somewhere else. Or maybe you want to shop around. Mm. Or maybe Can't even you learn to turn the phone the other way anymore. so it doesn't record in vagina mode. But that's cool. Maybe you the desert and take a deep, hard look within. Just figure some stuff out for a while. That's, That's cool. cool, man. Tell, tell, tell me again. Car, Carmax is the place How to awesome sell you your are. Car. Okay, let's do this, Tina. Here we go. It's one of those kind of nights. On, oh, boy. Ah, we can just hang out here. Oh, boy. It's my favorite no. caller, Mike Bushnell. Oh, no. This is this is Shane Welder. I'm calling in. You told me you are calling me out. I wanted to call, so I'm calling you. This is big Shane Welder from the chat. Have a break. Oh, yeah? Have okay, a cool. Yeah, I want to know, uh, you know, just because you sitting and you got a house and you think you can live stream from it and I'm sitting here in my car on my Galaxy S2 cell phone having to watch in the park that you somehow better than me. So you tell me why that's not the case. Well, first of all, I have a Galaxy S9. Oh, yeah. there we go. There we go. Slossing again. Oh, oh, Team Wookie, everyone. Bow down to Team Wookie. That's right. 
I, I don't know. Like, what? Do you, I, I don't live in a house, by the way, Mike. Well, you got a roof over your head, and I don't. I don't have a roof. No. What your your car doesn't it's have on. a roof? Convertible, uh, you know, 1983 Datsun roof doesn't work. Won't come up. For oh, about the seven roof years. no longer works. Got it. Got it. I don't know, King Wookie. But I like the sound of that though. Out a minute. You know, I got that. You know, I got that prepaid cell phone. I can't afford to be on here too long now. I gotta get my my EBT card tomorrow. Make sure I can buy these. Hey, can you juice boxes can, can you over. put Noah on the phone? Uh, one second. Let me see if Noah's here. Noah, Noah. <laughs> Oh, no, he's training right now with Pat Patterson, but he'll call him a little bit later, I think. I love how Noah sounds exactly like, uh, uh, what's his name from the chat? Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Take it easy, Mike. Have a good night. Oh, Mike Bushnell, everybody. Give him a round of applause. Oh, man. I love when Mike calls in. I used to dread it, but now I'm just sitting here going, man, that was a good one. Good one, Mike. <laughs> What's going on, Jennifer? I'm just don't mind me, guys. I'm just eating my pizza. I'm just super hungry right now. I had no time for lunch today at work. No time for lunch. Man, it's so weird. Mike and Shane have the same number. Huh. Weird. What's going on? I saw Capu with his damn tacos. Yeah, Capu, I'm eating on stream. I know he's probably looking at me like, well, he's eating on stream. I don't, there's, there comes a point in every man's life where he's like, you know what, whatever. I'm starving. And I'm hungry. SummerSlam is coming. Next month, SummerSlam. Is SummerSlam in... Daniel, don't don't give everybody wet dreams here, sir. Is SummerSlam in New Jersey this year? Is it in New Jersey again? Yeah, of course it is. What the fuck am I thinking? I've clearly lost my mind. Yeah, making people to turn on the TV, Daniel. What are you thinking? Sasha, what was that all about? I'll turn it up so you guys can hear it. I'm really Sasha, hoping stop. they do kiss. Look, it's one thing for me to beat you up, but I'll be damned if anybody else does. Okay, so that means you care. Yes, I care. I've always cared. Look, you know I hate talking about my feelings, but you always do this, okay? I love that you're a good person. Now, now kiss. I love that you love everybody. I love that you want to be friends with everybody. I love that little girls look up to you. I love that you're always there for me when I don't even ask you to be. And for some reason, you always can tell when something's wrong. So I just don't understand why you don't get it. I love you. I always have, and I always will. There, I said it. So guys, when faced oh, with man, separation, what was that all you can about? see that when you have a friend that is that good for that long, you just don't want them to walk away. I'll see how this is going to play out. But uh, remember when uh, Kevin Owens tried to be friends with Braun Strowman? Yeah. That did not work out. And I want to take you to last night at Extreme Rules, because in my 21 years in WWE, there's been very few times where I've witnessed something. I'm really disappointed. Like this steel cage match, closing moments, Braun Strowman, Kevin Owens, 20 feet above the floor, where Strowman would take Kevin Owens in I'm super upset. Totally thought we were going to get something the there. Table. Our announce Didn't table get it. literally Didn't get exploded it. under the impact of Kevin Owens from 20 feet above. We've seen Braun Strowman perform insane feats of power but this was by far the most disturbing thing the monster in the bank's ever done i am sure that i've never seen from right above me a superstar be launched 20 feet yeah it's right back to tv 14 feet. i didn't think Braun what was, was that called with a hot lesbian but action hla hot lesbian action back in the day 
Joining me now, Mr. Monster in the Bank, Braun Strowman. Braun, we've all seen the incredible footage of what you did to Kevin Owens last night, but now with 24 hours of hindsight, do you have any regrets at all for what you did to Kevin? <sighs> Actually, Renee, I do regret. I regret that I didn't have an opportunity to congratulate Kevin Owens on his victory last night. <laughs> As far as the two triple threat matches, why did you decide that you did not want to step up for an opportunity to face Brock Lesnar? Because I have this. And no matter who wins one of those matches tonight, or who wins at SummerSlam, I've got a contract for a universal title opportunity. Anytime, any place. And I do want to uh, issue a quick medical update on Kevin oh, Owens uh, because of what happened last night. He suffered uh, bruises to his shoulder and back, bruised ribs as well, and a neck strain, and he'll be reevaluated later in the week. Guys, look who's here. We know Julio. We know. We were just, you know, hoping. Mickey James is like, thank goodness it's not me. More than likely, yeah, he's in Montreal. Sipping champagne, maybe barking his wife. Throughout the entire night. Well, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas certainly given Alexander Ovechkin in his Stanley Cup World Tour a run for its money. I haven't seen a party like this in a long time. You know, any great team will tell you, you enjoy the win that night. You enjoy it until you hit midnight. Kelly said, oh, I'm trying to do a little WWE now. It went, and Coach, it went on throughout the Extreme Rules pay-per-view event. It went into the Extreme Rules post-show uh, exclusively on the WWE Network when uh, Bo Dallas had one of the most incredible uh, celebration slides of all time. I can't be totally certain, but when I was driving up I-79 from Pittsburgh yesterday, I think I saw Dallas and Axel hanging out the top of a limo. <laughs> We were going pretty fast, so I, I would, sure. I would tell you guys, WWE go check out Brandon Jones's channel. Now available on Aeropostel. But uh, dot com. The B team, the new tag team. You're right not in there. They're in action live next. Delivery drivers are experts at handling bad roads. Young City, working in a studio but all day by myself. You carry out, so we're doing something about. You know what? Starting Let's do it this, this way. If your drive uh, home is rough on pizza, tell us at avforpizza.com so we can fix roads across the country. Then carry out large three-topping pizzas for $7.99 each. Pieces or cups? Pieces or cups? Pieces or cups? Pieces in cups! Man, we're killing it over here, huh? Not sorry. Reese's. Cause baby, I'm sorry. Mm. Let's get you cleaned up before mom gets home. Let's just, you know what, I'll, I'll even add a webcam. That'll work. Let's add a capture device. So you can get closer. Add you just made the list. Webcam. Oh, boy. Glasses, don't overpay. We got over I'm Ali. Hitting the subscribe button. Too Dick sweet to you, my brother. Favorite, and the bow. James. You get two complete pairs with impact resistant lenses. What's it on, bud? Pre-exam for just $69.95. Coming this summer. Finally, a movie about me. It's always been my dream to have my own movie. All right. What about an arch nemesis? Just, Step just for right funsies. Let's go. Uh, let's go check out and let me see if he's even in the chat still. Where you at, Brandon? Ah, uh, oh no, that's old. That's really old. Is Brandon still in the chat? Let's go check out Brandon's 15 subscribers. Yeah, buddy. Congrats. You've uh, your last upload you got let's see, four years ago you uploaded. And then a year ago you so a year ago you uploaded. Congrats, brah. 
Let's uh let's check out Brandon. Actually, let's uh let's make sure I'm paused. Yes. All right. What do we, what do we got here, Brandon? Yes, yeah, yeah. it's hilarious. So first of all, turn your camera to the side. That means there's less likelihood of a vagina cam, which is what you're rocking right now. All right. Let's see what else we got. So so really, you're, you're of no content creation. Your 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 last video was legitimately just a bunch of people uh, sitting around. Good job. Good job, but please tell me, tell me what you, what you like, please, please. Hi, baby. How are you? Uh, please get that off of me. No, I don't want your glitter. I oh. Sophie, what happened? Slingshot shut down. What did you do? What have you done? What have you done? Yeah, subscribe to his straight nothing on YouTube. Was now the legal maze. And I'm not even, uh, you know what, I'll put the bets out for ya. Oh my, I can't even imagine why I'm putting this in. When you get to the next title defense. Hey, look at this. There you go. And there's the revival, Dawson and Wilder, who uh, I believe at some point in the future will have a tag team title opportunity. I guess I'll let you back. Revival, very impressive. A few weeks back in matches against Lashley and Reigns. And look at Axel dropping Connor Cover. Under the leg now and a kick out. Michael, I, I, I'll be serious, honest with you. After what we saw when they went against Bobby Lashley and Roman Reigns, I thought the revival would be getting the first shot against the BT. Oh, they made down the road, Coach. Remember, Hardy and Wyatt will have a... Uh, and that is, what is that, 900,000 or is that 9 million? That 9 million was the uh, highest it would let me go. Just Connor, FYI. 9 million was the highest it would let me go. So if you guys get over 9 million coins, well... Here comes the tag, Victor Legal, as is Bo Dallas. From the Ascension. We're going to climb the ranks here of the tag team division in Monday Night Raw. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the B team handles being the hunted as opposed to the hunters. Yeah, remember a victory for the Ascension tonight. Wait a minute. Victor I didn't even know you really had like a little opportunity down the road. Oh, oh, what a knee. <laughs> that could be enough. Hook of the leg now. And a, it's Axel saving the matchup. Connor with a big right hand. This is not the performance the B team wanted and not after winning the tag team title. Uh, Axel ducks down and oh, damn, I just Connor goes flying over the top rope and Curtis Axel realizes, hey, we might have an opportunity here. I'm still away with Jay Friends. His face. Tag made, Axel legal, double team by the B team. Cover by Axel. Hooks the leg. Got it. Here's Slime. I didn't do anything to your damn Slime. No sleep. I'm not looking. I hope you boys enjoyed your moment of glory. But understand, it will not last. B team, you have disrupted the imperial equilibrium of the heavens. And now you must pay for your cosmic crimes. Next week, we are going to get a rematch. And we are going to take back what is rightfully ours. And the two of you shall be deleted forever. Delete. 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 Come on, join the arena. I'm in. The cosmic criminals are the worst kind, and the seven deities do not appreciate being disturbed. Well, we'll see. Maybe seven days is all that the uh, the B team's going to have is oh. title in their title reign. The B team winning the tag team championship last night at Extreme Rules, and also at Extreme Rules, we had the Extreme Rules match 
for the women's championship, and it got out completely out of control. Way out of hand. Nia Jax what? The champion? For what the up? Women's title. How many coins does it take for a free for all? Uh, 50 coins to join a free for all. The challenger's in trouble. Mickey James and Natalia gets involved, and Mickey's gonna pay. And now Bush attacking Natalia. And Natalia driven into the barricade. Here comes Ronda. Ronda Rousey going right after Mickey James. Somebody get security out here. Ronda Rousey. You're no longer the go. Oh no. Run Bliss. Run. And Ronda Rousey's making a feline for the champion. <laughs> and again, Mickey James. Oh. Ronda Rousey taking out. I didn't see the part where she broke the condo stick. I'm waiting on Teddy's call. Thank you. And yes, indeed, she is still the Raw Women's Champion. Alexa oh, damn. Bobby James. Alexa's due out here next live on Monday Night Raw. So slow in Louisiana. That's why Popeye's because we've all been having fun hours. with it. It's how it's done, here at least. Taste the Louisiana difference with four pieces for five bucks or a ten-piece meal for twenty. When my hot water heater failed, she was pregnant. In-laws were coming. A little bit of water, it really, it rocked all world. Who are you looking for, I Teddy? No Teddy idea. Hart? You got five hours. Luke's got you. fifteen fucking on her already. The USA, eh? and they they greeted me as they always do. Sergeant Baker, how are you? They were on it. It was unbelievable. Having insurance is something everyone needs, but having USAA. That's a mm -hmm, privilege. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're the Bakers, and we're USAA members for life. USAA. I was eating my pizza. I love you guys, but like I said, um, man, I almost killed somebody for something to eat today. And I'm starving. What do you need help with? I'll put it on there. See, I don't understand how this is supposed to work. I'll do this in a minute, okay, buddy? I don't know how it's supposed to work. I, I don't I don't know magic. Only glue sniffer knows magic. He's the mage. Yeah, that's why the cops are here. I punched a grandma in the face because she had my sandwich. And I was starving. Is Jay going your room? Well, we are having a call in. I'm not sure who it is. All right, what do we got? We got three five three on the line. What can we do for you, three five three? Hey, it's me, Shane Wilder, just ringing in. Oh, what's, what's going, going on, on Shane? Yes, yeah, me, Shane. I'm just letting you know I'm in this, being here, being a troll tonight, cause Conman's uh, thrown me off his stream there for uh, Well, I can understand why Conman threw you off his stream. Yeah, because I bit on his. A private area, so I, I don't want to say it on your stream, but... Oh, well, don't bite any... Dude, didn't your mother tell you it's not nice to bite in anybody's private area? 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, but um, I, I like comments so much. Like and I, caress you know, gently. All right, you're not supposed to bite. No biting. Know, yeah, I know, but I didn't know. Comment didn't like the biting. I nibbled on it. Nobody too likes hard. the biting. Yeah, I know. I that know. is rule number one. I know, one. but that's, that's the way they bring the you up in Crichton and London. You know that yourself. I'm sorry. See, I'm from Crichton and London, and that's what how they teach you there how to do it. Give it a bit of a bite. No, I'm pretty sure even where you're from, they 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 know biting is bad. Yeah, I know where I come from in Crichton and London. Um, that's no, I'm pretty do. sure they teach you biting's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But com- I thought Common liked that, but he didn't. So now well, I'm clearly in your not, because every- everybody that. knows the because first Common rule is everybody knows the first rule is biting's bad. Okay, Wookie, look, I let you go, man. Sounds good. I have to go back there now um, to practice to practice on it. So calm, man, will take me back on these streams. So well, I tell, tell you, tell you what, don't bite anybody else. Okay, thanks very much, Wookie. Thank you much. Smoke weed every day. Oh, uh, is that Teddy? Is that fucking Teddy? Of course, biting's bad. Nobody likes biting. Eat big bad Nia Jax. Especially in an extreme rules match. Wrong. Oh boy! Last night I wrote. What do we got now? This Alexa is this Blaine. is Shane again. Don't fight anybody else. Okay. Are are you butt dialing me? Outside. I think I've officially been butt dialed. Butt dialed. Division. Don't bite, give questionable licks. So uh, well, there's nothing to bet on right brain. now, Steve. So you're kind of like on your own. <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> outsmarting Nia Jax last night wasn't that hard. Bay Mello, we were just, we were telling. It really wasn't. We so were now, telling Shane. I can officially that say that I you, you, have beaten when every it comes down to the nether regions, it's not nice to bite. We don't bite. Nobody likes biting. All right. You can't just take a big old bite. You know? God damn, yeah, she's got I a lot of fucking you. bobby pins and I in her hair. Ronda Rousey, but Ronda Rousey doesn't count. Ronda Rousey is not in that locker room because Ronda Rousey is suspended. Yeah, that's right. My God. And after last night, Ronda Rousey should be suspended indefinitely. Last night. I'm sorry, Daniel. I just keep looking at Mickey James and sitting right there, front row. I don't know why she's wearing a car. Shane, we all know it wasn't you. Oh, Mickey looks just. Oh. And Alexa Bliss and Mickey James have no interest in uh, being anywhere near her, but here comes Rousey. Oh, she's got her own. She got that Someone butt that just don't quit neither. Get Rousey under control. Mickey James felt the wrath of Rousey last night. Mm. Alexa Bliss felt the wrath of Rousey a month ago, which forced the suspension. Ronda Rousey is all Where is Angle? And here comes Ronda. Oh. Yeah, keep running, girl. Keep running. Mickey James needs to worry about Ronda Rousey. He can't worry about Angle. He's got to get this thing under control. Ronda Rousey is, has grabbed Mickey James. Why does Ronda Rousey only know how to wear stretchy pants? Has Ronda ever heard of jeans? You're darn right she is. Rousey looking for the arm bar. Officials and Alexa Bliss trying to drag James out of harm. Oh, yeah, Hoopa. The naughty things I do to her. Woof. Ronda's definitely getting fired after this. Oh, Mickey, will you marry me? Yes, we all, it was Teddy, guys. Ronda 
We all knew it was Teddy and not Shane. Although you're, Teddy, we're going to have to work on your English accent, bro. We're going to have to work on it, man. That was a horrible English accent. Dump. You can't Listen do these things while I'm not around. You need to calm down. Especially after what you did last night. Listen. You have two days left on your suspension. You need to go home and wait it out. Yeah, go home. Do you understand mm. me? What's up with her makeup? Rhonda, go home. Rhonda needs to be reprimanded for her actions. Ah, Carl, fucking I Carbon! As Go manager, home, Carbon! You put your foot down and do your job. Listen, Baron's right. I'm gonna have to tack another week onto your suspension. What? A week? A week? Rhonda blatantly spits in the face of authority, and you had a week? Stephanie's not going to be happy about this. And do you know what? You I'm going to call Stephanie right now. No. Where's my phone? He lost his phone. I left my phone in the office. Kurt, stay right there. I'll be right back. Oh, damn it. It was planned. I was totally hoping he lost his phone for real. I think he's looking for this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when your suspension oh, shit, is what's up, going on, Wayne? I'm going to give you a match with Alexa Bliss. You caught me on off night. I'm but eating pizza and straws. I'm spitting pizza and If you pull street. another stunt like you did tonight, you can kiss that match goodbye. It's not going to be just any match. Your match with Alexa Bliss will be for the Raw Women's Championship at, at SummerSlam. SummerSlam. Damn it, I was hoping Barrett like totally like whipped the spot and left the phone in the back on accident. No, this one was damn planned. As soon as he's like, I left it in the office, I'm gonna go get it. I'm like, damn it, it was planned. I was totally hoping he was just like, shit, where's my phone? Because you kind of saw the worry on his face, like he legitimately left his phone somewhere. Oh, Tamina not being able to find her pocket was great. When we kicked off the show tonight, Angle said, there's an ultimatum for the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar. Show up here tonight or I'm stripping you of a Universal title. Brock didn't show up, but his advocate, Paul Heyman, did. But I'm going to keep this simple. Brock Lesnar will defend the Universal Championship at SummerSlam, or he is no longer champion. I'm sorry, who's what now? Paul Heyman had no choice but to respond. You drive a hard bargain. Be You're a hell of a negotiator. Brock Lesnar will defend the Universal title at SummerSlam. But who will Brock Lesnar defend the championship against? Well, Kurt Angle set up two triple threat matches tonight. The winners to meet next week to determine who gets the Universal Championship opportunity. Let's take you back to the beginning of Raw tonight for our first triple threat match. McIntyre, Balor, and Reigns. Unparalleled physicality from these three superstars. Reigns, McIntyre, and Balor doing everything they could think of to topple one another and move on to next Monday for an opportunity at SummerSlam. And you think that Finn would be the big time underdog, but he held his own in a major, major way. Nearly get the pinfall right here. But Corey, at the end of the day, it was all about Roman Reigns being in the right spot at the right time. Well, Drew McIntyre looked to end Reigns with a claymore, but caught Balor. Roman Reigns would endure and deliver a boom, hellacious spear to Finn Balor moving on to Monday. Who could Roman Reigns face next week? It could be this man standing by with Charlie Here's Caruso. Here's your winner, Roman Reigns.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest, Seth Rollins. Seth, you want to face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, but first tonight, you have to win a triple threat match, and then next week, you have to beat Roman Reigns. How confident are you after your grueling Iron Man match last night at Extreme Rules? You know, Charlie, I gotta be honest with you. Last night, uh, last night wasn't my night, but tonight's a different story. Tonight is my night, and next Monday is gonna be my night, and SummerSlam is gonna be my night when I become the next Universal Champion. As for Roman Reigns, you know, I got all the respect in the world for him. I really do. I love him. All He's right. my brother. But if my road to SummerSlam goes through Roman Reigns, then... I'm back. You know, I got to do what I got to do. But if I know Roman like I think I do, he'd say the same How thing How does about that me. work? The hazmat suit I could understand, but a whole pack... What does he mean, a whole pack of Trojans? Oh, you missed some good ones back in the day, if that's your favorite segment. There's some good ones. There's a lot of good ones. I'm trying to think. Go back if you can find them in, the page, in their Patreon. Uh, they did one where they got a, a fake... They got uh, a, a lawyer, a cease, a fake cease. I think it was a cease to desist. I'll get, um, I think I'll get uh, Mish to put it back up, or I'll, I'll have him find it for me, and I'll forward it to, I'll forward you the, the link. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I want Taco Bell. I want Taco Bell of fast food. So you, you just want Taco Bell. I want Sonic. It's like the 1980s and early 1990s all over. Or, or all, oh wait, what? all over. All promos for the pay-per-views. I'm not sure what you mean by that, David, but okay. Uh, me too can't get hot there. Oh, I see. I, I'm missing a few pieces. I've only been listening for a brief period of time. I understand. I've I've been listening. I started listening to the soup shortly after I started doing the show. Is when somebody tip, tipped me off to Mish. Um, I asked Mish to be on the show, and the rest is history, man. Me pasty white shoes with questionable hygiene don't do it for you. Hey, at least you know she puts out. That's all I'm saying. At least you know she puts out. Uh, 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 uh. I had something I wanted to do, and now I do not. Here it is. Oh, that's the event log. I get it. I get it. I get it. I used to have something here. Is it under currency? Maybe it is. Uh, rank. Okay. That's not it. Ranks. All right, so I can assign you guys ranks now. Con man never leaves. Yeah, guess what, homie? I don't, number one. What? What? Lenny. Lenny. 
Oh, Shane. You, you're trying to get banned. You know what? I'm just, I just, I think next time you say anything that pisses me off, you're just gone. Um, yeah, I just come and go. I have a family to take care of. Sometimes you'll see Mama Wookie. Sometimes you'll see Sophie. Shit, sometimes you'll see... What the fuck is this? Okay, uh, thank you, Luke. Um, sometimes you'll see Liv. I have a family. They're part of the show. It happens. That that's that's how the show has run since the very fucking beginning. And Kanye never leaves. Well, Kanye doesn't have three children and a wife. I do. Shit happens, right? Things happen. I don't live with my mother. What? Nice. Nah, I'm good. All right, so let's uh, let's get into A O P. Comedy has nothing to do with this stream, but people always want to come in here and compare because you know it's what the con man does this for a living. Oh, I I can 100% ban you. Don't uh, don't you worry your pretty little head about that. couple of weeks ago with the opportunity earlier today to catch up with Titus Worldwide. I can fully ban you if I feel like it. I got to add him in. AOP. Yeah, we get it. Y'all big, bad, strong dudes that want to come in here and just take some respect. No, nah, bro. That's not how it works. You earn respect. Nah, bro. exactly what you're trying to do. I was there at one point a little while ago trying to make a name for yourself. Let's get one thing straight. We're not stagehands, <laughs> and we will hit you GC back. wants me to it's drop tonight. that band hammer. Tonight, we just go out there and we handle business. And we go out there and we represent Titus worldwide. Titus got some stretch marks on his arms. Hey, I love the confidence, but those two bad boys right there, oh, hey, I lady. think they care what Titus Worldwide has to say. So it's Apollo Crews starting things off here tonight against Akam of Authors of Pain. Authors of Pain looking to make a name for themselves here. I have nothing to do at work. Well, shape up. The Jedi must die? Where's the Jedi? Oh, man, driven into the steel. Look at that. Titus down and out. No, there's no doubt they represent the new You know, Mama Wookiee is going to be pissed. Um... Those that have been around the block for a minute. And now back into the ring. Oh. Akam, Apollo Cruz with a step up in Zaguri. And there's a drop. Mama Wookie's going to be pissed. Because I started a whole new currency plan. And she's going to log terrifying. on and have no coins. It's going to be and funny. Nelson slam. What? I don't know what you're talking about. What's the rank thing? I don't know. And you know what? We're going to find out. We're going to add a rank. No, nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to add a rank. Nope, not going to do that. There we go. We're going to add a rank. And look at this now. Ray Zar with the inverted atomic drop and the big boot by Akam. I'll tell you what, Coach. You go in there and you start... Measuring statistics on the AOP and I like how you come in here. They are. I'll just sit up here and keep my teeth. No, I'm good. <laughs> and now the double team by AOP. Where is okay. look at this? Just a well oiled machine. It is only a matter of time. Listen, coach. I mean, the WWE universe is watching. Okay, so add a rank. Shocked silence. It's uncomfortable to watch the AOP do what they do. Well, because they, they, they don't know what's coming next. Well, yeah, they do. <laughs> it's the last chapter. Good it's night, the last Paul chapter. Titus. Where is it? I can't just put him in. Compare watching the AOP do their thing to. Kimbo Slice and Backyard Fights back in the day. You know it's wrong what you're watching, but there's something fun about watching it go yeah, down. Yeah, I can't turn away. 
Uh huh. That knocked Titus out, and then it was all about you a do let me do this. Oh, well, you gotta log in. Aikum you gotta so win. Dominant, or you gotta log in. Just nasty, a full Nelson slam. And despite their best efforts, Titus Worldwide experienced the last chapter, courtesy of the authors of Pain. Trying to figure out how to make loot. I don't know who's gonna want to stand in front of these two men. Don't stand on the train tracks when the train's <laughs> coming through. Oh my god, it's a fat man in suspenders. I love it. And well, for the past two weeks, Liv Morgan has been unsuccessful in her attempts to thwart the winning ways of Ember Moon. But tonight, it's Sarah Logan's turn of the Riot Squad. It's Ember Moon, Sarah Logan. Hold on, I gotta find where is it? It's not under, is that under currency? It might be under currency. Side rank based them on the ring, you're about to find slash special chat. We've got a new show. You might think you know what you're gonna see on the show, but you have no idea. My dinner was forty-five dollars. Your dinner was six hundred. <laughs> Can anything else go wrong? What is it? Yeah, it's my mom. We said farewell to Chateau Marmiz. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir to Chateau Marmiz. I think you get the idea. We had the greatest move ever. This is what it's like to be an A-lister. We All right, had a to find Austin, it. Texas. Reese is gonna be a Texan. Yeah. Gonna be somewhere near the bottom. And we happen to birth a child. Hmm. We? <laughs> that was not me. This is Ms. and Mrs. You're and not it's in yet. awesome. Boom, boom. boom up. Uh -huh. Oh my God! It's I just got signed out of my own Can chat. Keep it up there. Our show. I don't know how to add. Adulthood There's comes Loki. with many responsibilities. But you can get in your car and drive to Arby's for a $1 Coke float. So, it's a wash. Arby's, we have the meat. Three, four. Teddy's a little stone? Get out of here. Teddy a little stone? It's crazy. Shares a splash with his sister Claire. She's floating on a swan, but wait, she's not there. Shares her DNA and make up with her twin. Shares his juggling skills after all. Trying to find Luke Birch. Luke Birch, say something. There he is. Neutro. Non GMO ingredients. No artificial flavors. All the energy dogs need. I don't know what this means. Neutro. Feed clean. Pizza Hut always has the $7.99 deal you can I get just delivered. gave you so some. Why go anywhere else? Don't just make it pizza night. Make it Pizza Hut pizza night and get your favorites delivered. Large two topping pizzas, just $7.99. Order online now. One more way no one out pizzas the hut. Now I'm going to need 5,000 of those coins because you took uh, Finn Balor. Switch to the LG G7 Thank You and get $300 off only at Verizon. What? You good? Yeah. No, you took the signed photo. Alexa, turn it up. Okay. Here's your reminder. Laura says the team. No, no, no. Now nah, there's work. <laughs> Laura scheduled a play date for 3 p.m. All right, adios, Shane. I'm reminding you, Laura loves you, and you're doing a great job. Hasta luego, muchacho. To choose him to be our next spokesperson. He's so boring. Hmm. Sounds like you're on the fence. Why don't I just leave you? I my figured resume? it out. <laughs> Yes. Check your coins real quick, Luke. No, thanks. Tired. Try caramel m and Ow. We roll slow in Louisiana. Mm. That's why Popeye's marinates chicken 12 hours. It's how it's done, here at least. Taste the Louisiana difference with four pieces for five bucks or a 10-piece meal for 20. Hey, Daddy. 
There are two episodes left, and everything about Nikki's wedding is coming to a head. I can't control how I'm feeling about everything. And only E can give you the inside Luke look. Luke has his own I'm rank. just still in shock. Total Bellas, this Sunday at 9, and catch up on demand. Yeah, I got bored of him. We are back Except live. Except when Teddy called in. That shit was great. With the war goddess. I know you're on rank, Teddy. The following contest is a women's division match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. Been on quite the roll against the Riot Squad as of late. Gentlemen, tonight, Monday Night Raw is brought to you by the Equalizer 2. We invite you to stay tuned after Raw for a USA special look at the Equalizer 2 in theaters come Friday. All right, hold on, Teddy. For continuous now I gotta go find you. Allergy relief. Take Zizel. Ever Moon's certainly been on an upward ascent here in the women's division. But accompanied by Liz Morgan. Where are you, Teddy? There you are. Check your coins now there, Teddy. Sarah Logan is a, uh, a strange no, 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 no. individual. I'm an Daniel Price, he lives! Sarah Logan is unique. Sarah Logan is very deeply tapped into her Viking roots. Everything from the war paint she out. You think, uh, no, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch on that in a moment. That's what I'm getting at, Corey, because I received a very unique email. Which one is she going up against? Telling me about herself. I didn't know you could read roots. Oh, give it a minute, Teddy. She's a Viking. Yeah, I know. She, was she serious? She has deep Irish roots, and due to the Norris uh, riot raiding and settling in Western Ireland, Viking blood runs in her veins. Everything from the war paint to the dreadlocks, which she show humility to the gods so that they'll favor her in battle. I mean, yeah, maybe it's a little unusual, it's a little unique, but it serves Sir Logan well. She's a powerhouse. And if she can knock off Ember Moon here tonight, how yeah, Roman would that be? For Sarah We're Logan, waiting for the end of it. Not only for Sarah Logan, but for the Riot Squad as a whole. To avenge the wrongs that Liv Morgan experienced in defeat. And I'm sure Ruby Riot's looking on and watching every move that goes down. Yeah, to Corey's point, Ruby Riot, the leader of the Riot Squad, still I'm out due to injury. Sarah better have been paying attention when Liv Morgan uh, went up against him in the last couple of weeks and put together a good game plan. Against so do a rather unique opponent. And Ember Moon kicking out. Zero Why does Sarah wear Ember the Moon. dreadlocks? Well, she said that One Vikings were often describing stories and historical writings as having snakes in their hair as a way to yeah, show gods yeah, they have I'm humility. I literally just said that, Cole. Oh, Quit reading yeah. your email. I'm all done with Sonic <laughs> I am reading my email. Time. Looking at it right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's not many times. Did, did you guys get the same email? Well, people don't usually email me, so I'm excited. Yeah, that's true. And look at Sarah yeah. now in complete Teddy, control. Teddy, check your coins now, bro. Fired up here tonight. Ember off the second oh rope, and what a run hand as Sarah drives Ember Moon right off the Whoa. second rope. Sarah Logan all too ready to fight, and you got to keep an eye on Ooh, Logan. we're going into the arena. The yeah, oh, we already went in the arena. Hoopa and came out. Victorious. Words, Sarah Logan very physical here tonight. Cover on Ember. Is there you go, boy. That's my boy, Teddy. Sarah Logan talks about being a Viking. This isn't like some Ingve Malmsteen stuff where she just sings songs Watch about dragon ships. This is legitimate lifestyle. The Norse gods would be happy with that right hand. You get on Instagram, you can see videos of Sarah Logan training to sword fight and use shields. I mean, it's legit. Yeah, she sent me pictures of her in her oh, Viking boy. outfit out there in the woods. I mean, you guys can confuse the audience all you want. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. All the about. people who have not seen you. Is that both of these the two? Your mama's oh, a Morgan with a cheap shot. And the numbers game. Is Daniel Price. Denver Moon Hero kicks out at two. Just because you can't keep up, Coach, doesn't mean the audience is confused. Yeah, you know, nobody can keep up with what you two are talking about. Well, the thing is, Coach, it's all I'm woken. No, she, she, she believes that she's... So now Sarah, Sarah Logan 
is woken. No, I am woken. Sarah oh. Logan is a Viking. Oh, my and man. look at this. Now Ember Moon in trouble. Oh, look at this. Rolls her up. Make right. Ember here. You Here's just made the list. Punjabi oh, sweat. Don't anybody ever tell you about as sharp as a marble? And now Sarah Logan. No, no, no. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put her away. And Ember kicks out at two again. Very impressive with Sarah Logan here tonight. I think what Ember Moon is having to adjust to is that Sarah Logan's style is much more physical than I what Liv Morgan brings. Oh, you're to absolutely right, Coach. I mean, Ember Moon has enjoyed something of a power advantage over Liv Morgan. I don't know that Ember matches up quite as well against Sarah Logan. Well, despite her Vikings roots, Sarah Logan talks about being brought up on her uncle's tater farm. That was before she realized that she was a Viking. Cole, all right. Uh, why is Super Chat gone? Because I have no way of getting involved. Super Chat Logan money. Me and Freedom are no longer a thing. I just so love if I can't, Sarah I can't Logan get work, access I mean, to the money. Is, is Google she, only pays she's out every so often. Finesse you to death. She's just going to hit it in the mouth. There's very few women throw a headbutt like uh, Sarah Logan. Corey, I completely agree. It's a completely different style, no, as you mentioned before, that... Ember That's Moon has been used lost. to with competing against the Riot Squad. And Logan oh. showing us here tonight that she's got a ton of potential, oh. that she has all the tools here. Oh, I think we wondered for a while why Ruby Riot oh, decided to have Sarah Logan in the Riot Squad. And I think we're seeing the last three or four minutes exactly what uh, she has in her tank. And she's in complete control here of Ember Moon, a former NXT Women's Champion. Out of Tony. Patreon. Yeah, Ember Moon has not had an answer, and you can see the joy in the eyes of Liv Morgan on the outside. Ember trying to create some separation oh. here. Boot right to the side of the head, and Sarah Logan now crawling away, trying to crawl out of harm's way. Ember looks really shook right now. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Oh, great agility. And Ember looking to rally. Oh, up and bring that in from left field. Just a haymaker connected right on the jaw of Logan. Checking to make sure she has all her teeth. Take another look at this. Wild swing by Logan. And boom! Ember connects. Bought herself some time. Now Moon picking up the speed. Ember with a couple of knees right to the midsection of Sarah Logan. Oh, oh man. High knee lift. Yeah, Ember saying whatever you can do, I can do harder. Just rocked Logan. Oh, oh face first goes Logan. Logan. Ember Moon looking to put her in. Liv to the party. Yeah, Liv Morgan. Uh, oh, no. She paid for it. But Logan from behind. Can't rolling quite. Ember Moon off. And Ember kicks at it, too. Ember with a kick right to the jaw. Cover by Moon. Hooks the leg. Is it enough to put her away? And a kick out of two. Oh, Very competitive matchup here point. tonight on Raw. Maybe we'll make slime. Next, uh, next week. Making slime. Sarah Logan needs to get back in this. I know the script. Logan for the will last lose. It continues to be so. And that hurt. Even on the outside, I don't think Logan's safe. Ember Moon. Shane, I thought I banned your ass. Maybe I hit the wrong button. I think Moon's feeling a little crazy right out. now. We're gonna fly suicide time, driving Logan into the barricade. Everything Ember Moon does has such. Because it hurts too much to look up. Takes a long time well, to yes. Cover, look at a You're not wrong. And right now we're doing arts and crafts. Well, Ember cannot believe Logan's still in this thing. Would you guys agree? Whenever you lose your leader, sometimes it can set you back. But I think it's allowing uh, Sarah and Liv to really show all of us what they have. And when Ruby Riot gets back, it will only make them stronger. Ember. Right and now we're doing arts and crafts. We got. Uh, there's Liv Morgan. What is this? Sonic the Hedgehog, something or other. From uh, Subway. Covered Thank you, Logan. Subway, for the most the irritating and child's and play uh, ever seen. Ever uh, 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 might be unusual. It might be unorthodox, but learn your hey. Viking culture, oh, because Sarah Logan is a force yep. to be reckoned with on Monday night. Uh, Sarah's yep. never gonna forget who she beat for her first win here on Raw and how she did it. Whatever he does. Logan Whatever Sonic does. Welcome. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. Come fix this. 
What's that audio guy? Yeah, you know, I really, I love Subway, but Subway, man, you need to work on your fucking kids' meals. Because I'm getting real fucking sick and tired of, like, the most, it's either just some dilapidated toy that no kid will ever play with, or it's a really cool toy that's just way more complicated than it needs to be out of a fucking, like, Happy Meal toy. But Teddy can't set up a Patreon? Why? Is that what he's saying? Um, are we all threatening Shane? Yeah, you better be nice. One more step out of line and I'll be kicking your ass to the curb, son. You know... You know what? I won't even kick your ass to the curb. I'll let Mama Wookie kick your ass to the curb. She lo she loves kicking people to the curb. See? She loves it. She's all I didn't even say anything and she's already excited. No, no. No, Mish. Next month's toy from Subway is going to be... It's not going to come with a nuclear reactor. It's going to be a nuclear reactor. However, every part comes out, you know, one part a week. And it's a do it, you know, assemble yourself. Do Roman Reigns deserve to be universal champion? Um, no. I'm, I'm all set on Roman. Like, if I never saw Roman again, I would never, I would not be upset. Burger King had some cool toys in their kids' menu. Dude, they had a full-fledged fucking action figure in there one month. I was so tired of McDonald's, so we have to go to Burger King. I'm telling us about we gotta go to fucking Burger King. I can't take any more damn McDonald's. And so we went to Burger King. It was a full-fledged fucking action figure in there. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Dude, Elias is not getting in, guys. It's Bobby Lashley. And if it's not Bobby Lashley, he's going to be like, well, I've already beat Roman and Roman's there, so technically I should be there too. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Dot Mutha. Not anybody's better than than Brock. There's a, there is a fine line. There is a fine line between all this. Who won what, Steven? There's been like 15 matches. You've been here for them all. And did I not pay you guys out? Is that the deal? Yeah, I didn't pay you guys out. I'm sorry. My bad, kiddos. I stopped it, but I forgot. This one, I don't. It, when I stop it, it doesn't automatically pick a winner. My apologies. My bad. I made it to boo boo. Oh, Ron, next. Well, I guess that's it for uh, Bray. And dude, can Bray get anything going? That poor fucking guy. Just can't do shit. I won. Hello, I am Elias. I'm taking all your coins back to me. You wish. I might like it. I'm into that sort of thing. You know? I like it when my I'm women sorry, beat I me up a little bit. For a second and then as soon as I remembered I was in Buffalo, I instantly got depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, were there people laughing? I mean, this city is full of lost souls, but there is hope you can be saved because on July 23rd, my debut album comes out. Yeah. He's really releasing the album, yes. You need yes. to buy it. 
You need to listen to it. Yeah. You need to let it heal you. And now everybody's been asking me, you know, what are you going to call the album? What's the name of this album? What's it going to be? And the answer is simple. It is so simple. It is three words, and it is a universal truth that everyone knows, including everyone here. And that is that WWE stands for... Walk with Elias. That's that WWE stands for... Walk with Elias. Amen. Amen. I love him. I love him. You just made the list. Oh, who do we got? Yes. So we got now Seahawks all the way. Hit that subscribe button. Sorry about your luck on your shitty team this year because the Packers are going all the way. But too champion. sweet to you. And, I, you know, even though you, you like uh, questionable NFL franchises, I'll give you the bow. I'll give you the bow now just for you. All I need to do is will myself through this performance in Buffalo, and I am on my way. Now first off, I need you all to shut your mouths because this song is for me and only me. Teddy, what issue are you having? Ooh, that's a good one, Mike. I like that one. World Wrestling Embarrassment. Well, Brock's got to go. I'm in Buffalo. <laughs> oh, Brock's got to go. I'm stuck in Buffalo. Triple threat match. Ain't no match for me. I'd rather watch paint dry than listen to Bobby Lashley speak. to life. In fact, I think Seth Rollins should go and take a dive off Niagara Falls. Off Niagara Falls. <laughs> Seriously, I could easily be Intercontinental Champion right now, but he cheated. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm in Buffalo. This place is Pearl Jam and Bruno Mars in this arena. That was far and away the worst thing I've ever seen. Pick a lane, Corey Graves. Are you a heel or a face? The following contest is a triple threat match. Give it for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Devonport, Iowa, weighing 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. Well, it's triple threat time to determine who faces Wow. Missionary hitting us up with the five dollar donation. Why is it not coming through? Thank you, Mesh. Mission, 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 mission. I wonder if I hit the wrong one. I wonder if I turned off. You just made the list. All right. That's not the one. Oh, God damn it. Dude, I bet you I turned off. Super Chat is turned off. Saya. Oh, here we go. We gotta go into donations. I bet you. I sure did. I turned the sound off. We gotta go to sound. What, what do I got to do with sound on? Driver, I get the sound of one of them. What? Stop it immediately. We live and die for you. I do that every week. Do you want to send me a message? Boots, boots is broken. Send them one back. Like there's, boots is legit broken. Like boots works when it wants to work. It works much better with Twitch, but for whatever reason, like. When it comes down to YouTube, like it, it works when it wants to work. Chick Extreme Three, three flexible blades that uniquely. Did I not hit it? No, oh, god damn it! Why isn't it coming through? Nothing's working. What did you do? What did you do, lady? I did not touch it. 
What did you do? Who's your daddy and what does he do? Let's see. Sound volume up. Delay up. Zero seconds. Ten seconds. I hit save, right? I must hit save. Oh, I... Great googly moogly. Here's what I did. I see what I did now. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. There we go. Let's try this again. Real professional class we're running up here. You know us. And it doesn't play. I didn't hit save. <sighs> Honey, I'm having a hell of a night here. This is all your fault somehow. No? Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. The fact that Elias is getting his album pushed makes Mickey James cry. Come on, man. She did a song with the Yang Yang twins, huh? And so? Yeah, I exfoliate my wiener weekly. In my hair? In your hair? How do I Wait, what did he say, Amanda? He had just admitted he exfoliates his wang every week. I think we're talking about two different versions of expo exfoliation. I Yes, I turned text to speech off. Yeah, I did a whole bunch of shit yesterday because it was driving me bananaramas on what the fuck was exactly going on. Five dollar. They don't do no five dollar foot longs. They don't do five dollar foot longs no more at the subway. They don't. Oh my God! Did you see her tonight, missionary? Oh. <laughs> Honey, I'm not trying to make you jelly or nothing, oh, but. Oh, but my God, she was. I might. Did you see her tonight? No, I haven't. Tonight might have sealed the deal. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, oh my god. Well, I mean, there's like no denying how pretty she is. All right, bets incoming for you guys. Did Bobby Lashley just come in and start hitting people? Because of course he did. Now the official's going to back oh, Lashley and Elias off to make sure that Rollins so is that okay means to start the match. It should put Missionary's yeah, picture in there now, to get the if I'm not mistaken. Stay in the is every man for himself? Wrestling Soup is your champion, at least for this while, resetting the monster. So now you guys are taking on Wrestling Soup. So all donations and all that jazz will be going to take down the current champion, which would be Missionary. Yeah, you wouldn't even know she's almost 40, dude. Like, ridiculous. She, and it is funny. He said he, she, he ages, she ages like fine wine. She actually got hotter from where she was. Um, yeah, from where she first got in the company. I think she's more attractive now than she was then. Or I'm just into older women. I mean, the latter is also true. been so, so... Perfect almost since bursting on the scene here in WWE. You so, showed so much potential as a future champion. Yeah, I picked Elias to be my superstar of the year by the end of 2018. So this would be a, a humongous with your, with opportunity for Elias to take it's a trip in that time. direction. But meanwhile, never mind. Oh my God, Tori! Of course, Kenny Omega is coming to WWE. They wouldn't have strapped that belt to his ass if they weren't afraid of losing him. Yeah, no, it's not going to be till next year. 
So don't, don't, I mean, the earliest I would expect him would be, what, Rumble? That's the earliest I would expect him, is Royal Rumble. I wouldn't expect him any sooner than that. Because he's, he's going he's gonna to do the J-O-B to get that belt off for him. He's going to uh, get kicked out of Bullet Club. Penny Omega. And then probably he'll probably do the same thing AJ did and be here around WrestleMania time. Do you think Lashley is the man to beat, the man with all the momentum coming off last night? I would have to say right now, he, yes. It, and I'm what? personally on a, on a fan level and very curious to see yeah, what he's a battle between man Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley would look like. I'm sure it would be pretty unforgettable at SummerSlam. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're really starting to see oh. a Bobby Lashley who is focused, who understands. No, I am only doing moderators through Patreon right now. Physical peak. That's right the now, only way Bobby I'm doing moderation. A few growing pains since he returned to WWE. Didn't come out of the gate as fast as he would have liked, as strong as he would have liked. But now, oh, oh boy! I mean, so Teddy speak, should have no very, very problems with. I mean, I'd be intrigued by uh, any of these with, um, Reigns next week on Monday night. Should have no problems using Patreon. So many stories built. Not a single issue last using last Patreon. Night. French That's the only Seth way I'm doing moderation right now is Patreon. Uh, Wookie, are the Young Bucks coming with him? More than likely. How can I get ranked? I don't know. I haven't decided what rank you are yet, Hoopa. I mean, Luke gets his own because Luke was like numero uno. And nobody supports this channel in the corner. And nobody supports all the different podcast shows, blah, 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 more than Luke does. So Luke Birch, definitely number one. That motherfucker has his own T-shirt because he does. No, Teddy still has a bum. So I'm about to take it down. And number two. What's number two, honey? They're flavorful. They're crispy. Um, Teddy got his own because, you know, Teddy's Teddy. Teddy's been around the block for a while. Teddy, Teddy knows what's up. Teddy does support the channel. So. What do you what kind of shirt you want me to make you, Mike? A king of all trolls shirt? Um, no, I want Omega there, but that's probably going to happen. That's why they're building Jay White and Juice Robinson as backups. You got it. Come on, Daniel. You've been around the block long enough. You know the Bucks. No, dude, they're getting up there in eight. I, I still think they're coming. I still think the Bucks are coming. Omega's coming. Look, look how many of the young Bucks friends are here now. You know what I mean? Not only not only that. You can't anymore because Super Chat's gone. Well, I mean, here's the deal, homie. Super Chat wasn't going to help me anyways because Gregory Dodge's Super Chat from two months ago is still in there. And it's going to sit in there. There's nothing I can do with it. A lot of people are losing their MCNs right now, meaning we have no access to our Super Chats until we get to $100. Is TNA still a company? Well, I don't know if it's TNA anymore. I think uh, I think it's not yet. Impact Wrestling on Friday. Yes. I, there's no way it's giving Teddy a, a error message. There's no way. Hundreds of people sign up for Patreon.
Well, sure, but I mean, Omega's kind of ahead of the curve. You really think they want Vince dipping into their merchandise after he copyrighted too sweet? Enough zeros, homie. Enough zeros makes the world go round, man. Plus, they bumped up to heavy, uh, bumped up to heavy. Oh, did they bump up to IWGP heavyweights? I didn't know that. Still doesn't matter. They're getting up there in age. If it's not going to be this year, it's going to be next year. Um, they're coming. They're getting up there in age. It's going to come to a point where money does mean something. You know, both those guys got kids. You got to think of their futures. You got to think, you know, you're not hundreds of miles away. If you're not being used, you can easily fly home and say hello. I'm just saying. Li living here has a lot of perks. Jimmy, bring me your Especially slime. when you're the young bucks. Either Elias, Seth Rollins, or Lashley, whoever wins. And Kenny Omega ain't getting any younger two. either. That's why Love I see him coming. To face Roman Reigns with the winner getting an opportunity at Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. I could see them come. I could see the Young Bucks coming in 2020. I could see them one more year over there, maybe. I mean, but the fact of the matter is, they're gonna they're gonna put out an offer. 110 percent WWE is gonna try to get them. Oh, Lashley with a clothesline. It seems ironic and almost a little bit morbid that your reward for winning a triple threat match and a match next week is a trip to Suplex City with Brock Damn Lesnar. straight he did. Well, we oh. it wasn't going to be easy. The journey's going to be a hard one. And to get all the way to the top of the mountain, it should not be easy for well, anybody. Look at this. Oh. Wow, incredible acceleration by Lashley. Right. Bobby Lashley wants Brock Lesnar in a bad way. He has to win this match. And then you did Rollins good this time, round. Oh, man. Lashley lost his headband again. Now he's going to look like he's... Now he's going to look like Deadpool. He has no eyebrows. How come he has no eyebrows? Corey, you said something a little bit ago that really struck a chord. The fact that Lashley took a while to find his footing on his return here to WWE, but it now looks like he's hit that groove. Absolutely, and he looks downright unstoppable. I mean, after the battle with Roman Reigns last night, defeating Roman with his Wouldn't own surprise spear, me if, if Cody came back. A look of disbelief sort of washed over the entire arena. It would an athlete the caliber of a Bobby Lashley. I mean, here, here's the deal with Cody. Cody on Twitter says that WWE does not hold any, anybody back. WWE doesn't hold anybody back, remember? So if that were true... He, he'll no come back rule to his if right not now, Elias, and he turns him down champion, no doubt about that. well 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 Elias, looks like Cody Rhodes is full of shit his man is it enough drops the elbow on Lashley Gorgeous. for an opportunity to advance to a match with Reigns next week kick out by Lashley at two. Oh, how about that splash as for an a low cut top I'd watch the car kiss of Lashley take advantage of the frog splash and Lashley kicks out what a Beautiful few seconds for Elias that I thought was going to get the job done. Say that without laughing. I wasn't laughing at that. I was laughing at Mama Wookie. Elias stop. Down. Lashley down. Come on, guys. Elias stop it. Down. Critical point of this match. Take another look at this. Seth Rollins. Look at the incredible elevation. Of course, most importantly, the impact at the end. Well, in the anticipation, Corey, to understand that Bobby was going to be there. You said critical point in the match. This is a critical point in their year. On well, their career. If you want to go that far. <laughs> you think, imagine what next Monday will be like for Elias if he wins tonight. His album drops, his, his debut album. album. He'll have a match against Roman Reigns for an opportunity to go to SummerSlam. Not just go to SummerSlam, but to main event. Be on the main event stage against Brock Lesnar. What an I'm opportunity. Sure the hipsters in Brooklyn would enjoy that. Yes. Look at yes. Seth Rollins now. Yes. Elbows right to the nose of Elias. You had Schlubber last night? Oh! An elbow caught Rollins. Oh. Seth with a boot right to the face. 
What? Rollins now second rope. Blockbuster to Elias. Can Rollins you take advantage? All Into over the your cover face. for an opportunity to advance to next week. And Elias powers out. It was a great oh, window God, of opportunity for Rollins momentarily with oh, Lashley out of the equation. Her Landed face. the blockbuster, but Elias still has a little too much gas left in the tank. I think we saw earlier tonight. We're oh, seeing right man. here. Just how badly go get the, all six go men get the baby oil. That way I can at least pretend really I was at a strip really club. To to and face Brock and I'd be like, what happened? Oh, the white flag glitter all over me. I can at least be like, I was dead, titty bar. And uh, now Rollins uh, going to climb the ropes with Elias. I mean, what more could you say about the, the fortitude of Seth Rollins? The fact that he's back out here again. Yes, Mike, it's glitter. You should know all about glitter from all the uh, upstanding gentlemen establishments you attend. Engaging at the top of the, the, the ropes this is insane. He, he never complains. No, oh, he just comes out and he competes at the absolute highest level. Elias, Elias now looking for his footing on the top. But oh, Ashley's back in it. Now Bobby Lashley That's what Glitter is. It's crafting her base. Lashley go to the high rent district a couple times last night. No matter what you do, you can never get rid of it. Lashley. And look at Seth Rollins now. Wait a second. Okada will never come to WWE. Ouch. Jennifer. Jennifer won the arena. The free for all. And now like a cat up to the Oh, let's get your spot in into the Falcon Arrow. One, two, kick out because it's such a fucking devastating move. Nobody can take another look at this. This is freakish power by Seth Rollins. And then chat like nobody can uh making it look easy. First the superplex, then a Falcon Arrow. And Seth almost punched his ticket to a battle with Roman Reigns. Someone's going to have the height of elation and the success of going to next week. And there's going to be two top flight superstars that are going to go home tonight very, very unhappy. Rollins is the only man in the ring, however. Lashley and Elias both outside. What does Rollins do? Who does he choose to attack? Yeah, trying to make a decision. There goes Elias. Takes out Elias. Sends it back into the ring. I think that was the right decision. No, don't be so Cena. Oh, I pick one when you can choose that. Oh, Ben Seguri. Rollins like a man possessed right now. Monday Night Raw's wide, ladies and gentlemen, at Buffalo. Wow, look at Rollins go, go, go. Elias and Lashley. Yeah, Okada will never come here. He's he's he is staying firmly in New Japan. That's why I'm so surprised they took that belt off him. Germs Lashley saved the matchup and preserved his opportunity to face Roman once more. You know, Bobby's got to be feeling extra confident. If he beat Roman at Extreme Rules, there's no reason he can't do it next week. We found out earlier tonight that general manager Kurt Angle has made a Raw Women's Championship match for SummerSlam as we take another look at the last few moments of this matchup. Bay Mala, you missed John Cena for what? Bobby Lashley skips leg day. Dude, that guy's got some thunder thighs. I don't know. Women's Championship, and tonight we'll move one step closer to finding out who faces Brock Lesnar for the Universal Title. Yeah, Kurt Angle has had a great night being in charge, and I think making these two triple threat matches and making that for for SummerSlam, the WWE Universe can now say, you know what? We understand Kurt's vision for the Raw side of things. And now Seth Rollins measuring Bobby what? Lashley. Now, they're, oh, what a right hand! Man, Rollins just uncorked it. What? Yeah. Every right hand Lashley fires off. Rollins answers with a forearm. Elbows right on the ear. Uh, there's no doubt all three of these men know they've been in a fight. Oh, and Lashley I don't really have that on my screen. Out. Look at this. Lashley now letting all the blood rush to the head of Seth Rollins. I could have sworn I switched it to live chat. Such a weapon. 
weapon. Power. Such a weapon. Seth has no yes, idea where he thought. is right now. Why? We figure it out quick. You hoping for because another donation? That's not going in my pocket, week. woman. This is Bobby Lashley's to lose. You want Lashley glue? Now, sizing up Rollins. Oh, no. He brought by Seth, shoulder the post, rolls him up, shoulders down, almost at him. Kick to the face. Lashley's in position for Rollins and Elias. Oh, great timing by Elias. Spear. Better timing by Bobby. Lashley covers. Bobby Lashley's got a date with Roman Reigns. Of course it's Bobby Lashley. I don't even know why I'm surprised. Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley using the exact same move he used to beat Roman last night. The same move that Roman used to win the first triple threat tonight. It is a collision course. Reigns and Lashley for the right to travel. The Suplex City. And think about this. Roman Reigns is going to be able to exact some revenge. And, well, Bobby Lashley wants one thing and one thing only. And he was able to get there by what happened just a few moments ago. Well, Elias thwarted the opportunity for Seth to go for a stop. And then Bobby Lashley. Boom! A massive spear. Come on, boys. Bobby Lashley. He speared him so hard he done flip right over. He wants to stand in the uh, ring. Yeah, I want to play Fortnite. Bobby Lashley, where are your eyebrows, sir? They're missing. You can't even pencil them fuckers in. Disappointing night for Elias and Seth Rollins, but Bobby Lashley stands tall. Get ready, Cincinnati. There's a big fight coming next week for Raw. Lashley prays for an opportunity to meet Lester at SummerSlam. Yes, it absolutely is, is ending the exact way we all thought. Smoke weed every day. Nope, nope, not that one. Sorry, guys. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah, that's it. But that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Thank you guys all for coming out. Again, I know we had like a crazy uh, first hour there. Kind of went all, all sorts of bananas. So I thought to thank you guys all uh, for coming on down, sticking around. Thank you guys so much. One more for Teddy. Smoke weed every day. Give it up to Teddy. So I'll see you fucks tomorrow. For SmackDown Live, you guys have a good night.